Hey everyone, welcome to podcast number 38. We got some of our favorite comments here. Mine is, why is Drew so dressed up? He reminds me of a kid I knew who wore a tuxedo to a classroom awards ceremony. Also, <laughs> Rob is growing up and moving into his own place. It seems like it was the, just the other day that he was afraid of the dark. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> was that, were we literally talking about that on that podcast? Probably. I, I, I think we were talking oh. about like scared like movies. Well, just like the, the it thing. Yeah. Um, uh, mine is literally... Why does Drew look like a used car salesman? <laughs> and like he, he does. Yeah. My, My favorite is the, the picnic blanket one. <laughs> Drew looks like he stole a family's picnic blanket and had his grandma make it into a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's, so there's two. First one is Not the guy, is, is, is the sign guy saying, "I appreciate you having, I appreciate you having my back on the sign." The boys are making me feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> Uh, the revolution has begun. We're on to you, black sign that sits on the shelf. Again, what's he talking about? No what's, idea. What's oh, sign? wow. What sign? Wow. Now you bail on the wow. poor kid. Nice. <laughs> um, uh, just to address some of the other comments, we were just talking about this with the audio. Didn't hear anything on my headphones. Only heard it on the phone, so mm-hmm. watch on your computer. Yeah, so th- who like who listens to an, a podcast on their phone speakers anyways, you yeah. know? Just be normal. Uh, <laughs> there might be some wow. issues. I just hit your ass down wow. at a computer. Wow! Imagine not having headphones plugged into your phone, bro. Jeez. My other one was: Can we please have an episode where the main person getting bullied is Shane? He's always the one bullying people. It's just uncalled for. So, this, this, there's just like nothing to really. You can't really roast Shane. I live a Wait, simple no, you, life. You you can roast him, but he just doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. Drew gets very worked up. Ed Rob, and takes you, it personally. You're in the middle. I'm like I'm on the fence. We just know the certain things. Like if we bring up like Kirker any of his cousins you start getting Speak, speaking of this time next week we'll have already watched one football game well wait no there'll be a whole no it'll be monday right so there'll be a whole yeah, straight of sunday it's football next, game. Monday? Yeah. next sunday i'm awesome next sunday. up already this is an awesome start how do you do that strat again where it just slide again? your glass down a little bit a little bit okay this will work That's yeah. the but there's yeah, there's it this, works so it's football this thursday mm-hmm. and then we have our full state on sunday and then monday but I'm scared this is going to be the first weekend of football and there's going to be like a thousand new COVID cases and everyone's going to start freaking out again. Oh, yeah. They'll it's, cancel the season. It's, yeah. it's going to happen. The thing is, is if you look, sure they, they test the dudes like almost every single day. Yeah. It just um, depends on how strict they are compared to the other ones. Like hockey has been pretty good. Well, hockey, right? they bubbled up. Base, or basketball, they bubbled up. Baseball, they didn't bubble up. Yeah. yeah. Baseball and got fucked. They got yeah. fucked <laughs> early, yeah. Was, it, was right. that the stripper case? No, that's no. you're thinking of the hockey one. That was uh, hockey. That's the Canucks. But they, they tested her. She's fine. Wait, the stripper. What's this? What Apparently, happened? Apparently, like the Canucks <laughs> snuck in two strippers for their goaltender. He had like a he had a shutout win. Yeah, what's his name? I don't know. It was I have no I idea his oh. name, but they lost. They now got anyway. fined like forty five thousand dollars. Apparently, they, I don't, I don't they know if snuck it's real. in two strippers. For his, that's pretty. For that's, what it's, yeah. that's pretty jokes though, yeah. to be honest. Rob just like reminds me of university. <laughs> reminds me of my time playing goalie. No, his, I never his, goalie. It reminds me of his parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> of that. You can't see my face, but I'm broadly in disgust right yeah, now. Yeah, of course. Test at the door of his home. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm not trying to get a COVID test. I didn't realize that they fucking... It looks awful. They stick like something right up your nose and like... Yeah, it's like... they. Do terrible. you not see where they got it from? They no. got it from like... They watch those videos of like Egyptians, like when they pick the brain out and then they, they mummify you. That's uh, the, this is like the early process. Dude, just they say they pull the brain through your yeah, nostril. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Fuck that. Dude, That's how they find like out if you have COVID. Yeah, they gotta take a little bit of brain. Take a little bit of a, <laughs> some brain tissue. Yeah, exactly. You guys are fucking with me, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, of course. Don't, don't your... <laughs> they just scrape the back of your throat, you dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. They just they take some brain tissue. <laughs> So every time you get tested for COVID, you get a little dumber. You could, well, that would be bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> they, they take some of your your frontal lobe and they test it for, <laughs> for COVID. But I don't know. Well, I had an idea. How about we all say one shitty thing that's been happening to us recently? Only uh, because nothing. I've had a lot of shitty stuff that I want to talk about. All right. Go ahead. First off, know. my internet has been asked the last like three days in a row. And like to the point where I'll be playing a game. This happened today and I was playing Warzone and like someone was running in and my screen will freeze completely and then my ping will jump to like a thousand and then I'm just stuck in this like in between of not knowing if I like what happened to me and then everything will catch up to me and I'll, and I'll just be dead. I don't think that's your internet. No, nah, it, def- it definitely is. Remember the good old days of like... I wouldn't put it past. But like remember the good old days of like Rocket League when I lived in the Brussels? 
where it was like I'd be playing net for you guys, and like I'd have like a thousand ping. Yeah, we just teleport. And then like yeah. I just have to Across guess while the, the ball's in their end where it's gonna be when it hits the net. But like when on your end was everything frozen? Like you yeah, it would, turn... it would like the ball would stop, and then the ball would like fast forward here, and then mm -hmm. fast forward to me. But like, could you still turn your camera and stuff back then? You should have been yes, able to. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you do that when like, it freezes, I'm, or are you completely frozen? It's just like. That's like a second, and everything on my screen is just stopped. But can you look around? No, like just. It's, I don't oh, think that's it's your, your, your PC's fucked. Wi-Fi or like Ethernet. Well, it's Wi-Fi, but like the thing well, is, it's like Wi-Fi <laughs> wouldn't drop his frames <laughs> no, to zero. But, like, but it happens the exact same thing in every game. I'll play like you know Warzone or even I was playing Destiny, and like my huh. screen will just like my Wi-Fi will like jump. It'll be up to like 900 ping for a second, and then everything will freeze, and then like and it just catches back up really quickly. Are you in a mm. Discord call? Strange. No, not 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 on uh, not playing Warzone at least. Is mm. it doing this like when you're streaming or just? It, it did, but I, even off even like off or offline, it still will happen. Super to strange. Me. So yeah. mm -hmm. the only thing I can think of would be that maybe your computer is just dying or like has something wrong with it. <laughs> I just is so new. Fuck that. But like oh, so, no, because ping isn't just about your connection. It's also about your hardware and how fast it processes stuff. So if it's freezing, your ping would drop jump up to a thousand because it's taking your computer a while to process what's happening and sending it back. So like you might think it's your internet because your ping skyrocket. Too technical for him, I think. <laughs> okay, no, well, I don't know. That, no, that makes complete sense. That actually makes complete sense. I, I followed yeah. the, the three quarters of the way through. Your, so your computer freezes. The I'm ping, it, 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 you, wherever's trying to communicate with your computer, no longer can. So yeah. like ping is how long it takes from for the connection to go from like server to your computer and then back to the server. Yeah. So if like it comes here, processes fine, goes back, it's like fifty. Yeah comes here your computer freezes and doesn't send anything back takes two seconds so I'm fucked. and then sends it back <laughs> so pretty your much you're just gonna skyrocket so you thought it, it was your wi-fi and you know it could get better or worse no it's actually your pc i'm just fucked for life your brand new pc but like it, it doesn't happen all the time though <laughs> well that's that's pretty common because like so a computer won't always be under 100 percent load like oh, maybe there's fuck. something going on that's causing your computer to stress out I don't, do you know how dude, full we, it is? Because I can't imagine it's that full. Dude, we, he was—he was already. He's got a list of rough things. Yeah, we're already. No, this we're is number this, one. Bro. This, we just made it so much worse. He thought it was his Wi-Fi or his internet coming in. That's, that's <laughs> now just we're like, telling him it's his PC. That's just like a secondhand opinion without actually having seen anything. But like normally, if oh, you're so ping, fucked. He's not. He, he's <laughs> not a doctor. If it was an internet thing, <laughs> if it was an internet thing, you would still be able to control yourself. If it's completely freezing, then I think that's a computer. But problem. like it happens like. Like it doesn't like it's like random. For, like yeah, and like I t I'm I've been trying to identify, like if there's anything like any other things I'm doing that have caused it. You know what I mean? If I have yeah. like a certain it's program, you know what probably is, um, those cans on your desk. That's what everyone it's says. The yeah, yeah. The honestly, the Wi-Fi, like the Wi-Fi is getting bounced around on the cans. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should get Why rid of them and use, try it. Like Ethernet, though. I want to, but like our routers and like the you could top floor of our house. Like one of those power line adapters. That's what someone was telling me about. Work. What are, what are those again? Like one plugs into the actual router wherever you have it, and then yeah. the other one just plugs in like near your PC, and then you just hmm. use an Ethernet cable That's from not... the outlet to your PC. But th the thing is, I have to like would go through like at least three floors. So like that's a lot of wire. Well, like it actually goes in like your power outlet, right? How oh. does that work? Like, yeah, it, I don't get that uh, either. I've seen people use them and have like pretty good success. So but how's it, how does it work though? It basically I sends. I can't, I can't explain the <laughs> so magic. It goes from your router, like an Ethernet port, and it just plugs into the wall. Yeah, well, one goes into the actual router. Yeah, yeah, like you Ethernet. Wire that in yeah. Ethernet, and you plug it in by the router. And then the other one, you just plug in near your computer, and then Ethernet goes. Christian's from not buying the it. The actual unit. <laughs> the only the thing I can think of is. Um, Wait, so so router to wall. Yeah, like we used to sell them at Best Buy. All Wait, the like time. router to wall, and then wall, wall to, to this wall to computer, like. Yeah, like so the, two, this is fascinating. Yeah. The only thing I can think of is like, so we have the Wi-Fi pods that came with the house, mm -hmm. and they like that, and they use power over <laughs> Ethernet. So like that's how they get their powers through Ethernet. So like maybe it just well, sends yeah, a signal with, through with the those, power. It's similar because like one main unit would go near your router, right, mm -hmm. and then plug in. But that's just for wireless. This is like so you can actually have a wired connection. I know, but if like you can, if you don't have your router near you, I'm just so. trying to understand how you could possibly like get that data sent <laughs> over. I electricity all the time. But, I, don't yeah, I don't get it. That's uh, that's above our pay grade. I guess that's essentially what internet is. is Someone explain power. this shit to us. Yeah. Can't you get like lights that give you internet? How about I just get you guys come over and like 
hold hands with my rewire rotor rewire to my basement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold the router. You guys all hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll work it's perfect yeah i'll just fucking no, i'll knock out a floor in my house and just call it call it a day just rewire that shit from the, from the ground up or be like my house where there's just a blue internet cord just all the way all across the, way the way house across, yeah. yeah i always wonder what like i moved it when i first moved into my student place that like the guys before that before they did that and i was thinking to, i remember back in time i think to myself oh these nerds they care that much about getting fucking <laughs> ethernet <laughs> And now look at you. And now look at me, Those guys bro. knew. Yeah. They knew what was up. That guy played a lot of CSGO, too. He didn't like, speak much English, so. I'm lucky. <laughs> He's probably really good. He's pure Russian. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, I want to say Mandarin. Because Chinese isn't a language, right? You're not allowed to say that. Cantonese. Cantonese. It's Cantonese or Mandarin, usually. Yeah. Know. I think Mandarin's the formal. Cantonese is the informal. Ever since I got lectured. How on, did he dress? Was he formal he, dressing or? <laughs> he wore a tux every, all the time. Yes, there you go. So it was probably Mandarin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy woke up in a tuxedo. Oh, definitely Mandarin. He went to bed in a fucking, what do you call it, the robes? Starts with a K. I don't know. Kimono? <laughs> yeah. That's Japanese. Oh, uh, wrong. Racist. Oh, wrong. Uh, does this make me, does this make it? All right, let's move on to problem number two before you say something more racist. Okay, more racist? That wasn't even racist. <laughs> okay, so anyways. I, I don't know why I did this. I wanted to kind of see how, what kind of work day I'm going to have tomorrow. So I hopped on my work laptop and booted it up. To say, oh, I, I was like, oh, I can't imagine my day tomorrow is going to be too bad. Everyone has had a holiday. Bam. Like 8, eight in the morning until 5 at night. There's a call every single hour. And but now, like, we already knew that was going to be like that. Why, why would you assume that it would be easy after a holiday? Your, mon- I don't know. I your Mondays were like your busiest day. Mondays and Wednesdays. But like, yeah, so, so then <laughs> when Mondays... You're you're off. Wouldn't that just mean Tuesday's now the busy day, or do you yeah, think like people all your are just piled up now? <laughs> and also, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and also all, all the people who like need shit done. They're like, oh, you're closed. I now have yeah. to do Tuesday. But that's instead. two for two that we just made his life even worse. Well, I was just like, fuck, dude. Really do you remember time. when we worked at Zares and it was like the day before and after Easter was just fucked? Yeah. yeah so I'd rather thing. I'd rather pack bags full of food than fucking send emails to people though you know what i mean i don't think so that is you get paid a lot more to (laughs) send your emails then i guess so but they're all gonna be so angry and fucking pissed off and grumpy man who who cares people are trying to schedule before you even book the monday off because you have to put it into your thing these people are trying to book calls on monday i'm like do you guys not have a holiday where you're from (laughs) like that's um, what does the u.s have a holiday yeah yeah Yeah. because i saw a lot of tweets from people today being like happy labor day off to work like, man, I guess it depends uh, on where you work, but yeah, I know, exactly. I know I most Americans are yeah. probably off today. Yeah. I thought it was just a Commonwealth thing. I was like, that's what I thought. And then he was like, no, it's in the U.S. as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who knows? I, I have one more item on my list of okay. shitty things. This one's literally a shitty thing. Who died? No one. I haven't pooed in almost two days. I'm not sure why. It's literally shitty. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm constipated. Ben, I mean, there's stuff for that. But like, I don't want to drink like fake juice and shit or prune juice, whatever it is. Well, the other day you <laughs> your you muscle, you just some... shit out your muscle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just right. drank like a, a full corkscrew, right, and just went like right into your butt yeah, hole. That's and... exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just need to fucking cork myself for a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know though. And like, it's kind of the point now where like I can. There's so much just like crap inside me that my farts are just coming out and just being like the grossest shit ever. And, like, yeah. can you tell us this after we all sit down at a table yeah. together? Well, I'm not gonna no fart escape. if I can control it. You know what I mean? I won't like. You're you're probably you're getting just, to the point where if like you it. fart, yeah. you might shit yourself. Well, I hope so, man. Probably <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even know when he's farting. No, it's just, it's just constant. slowly. Do you remember that thing out. you said about oh, gorillas? Oh, yeah. yeah, gorillas are like lactose intolerant. Always farting? No, they're not lactose intolerant. They just, they're they're veggie diet. Constantly farting all the time because they eat like forty mm-hmm. pounds Why of don't vegetables. You just have lactose or something. I don't know why. Yeah, I, true. I why don't you just more. like get like ice cream on the way home or something? I've had some cheese in the last little while. That's perfect. I wonder if that's why I can't poo. You know what I mean? Well, like what usually like it'll give like go eat a bunch of ice cream or go get a milkshake on the way home. Yeah, we have ice cream cake here that you can yeah, take a slice same, of. No. But I'll take a cake. slice anyway. But <laughs> ice cream cake is only good for the middle chocolate layer. Yep. Yeah, but like brown of the yeah. Dairy Queen yeah. ice cream. Cake, yeah, yeah, because yeah. the. The ice cream is usually kind of shitty. It tastes like really like fluffy. Okay. Ice yeah. cream. Kind of like anything store bought though. Make it from scratch. Tastes like it sounds so stupid, but like tastes like freezer burnt ice cream. Yeah, it does. I don't even know how that's kind possible, of. but it's like bitter almost, man. 
Okay, I don't know what the it's, fuck you're eating. It's but. like fucking tastes like chicken to a certain extent. <laughs> Overcooked chicken. <laughs> okay. Um, but so wait, should, is that it for all the shitty things though? Uh, oh, there's more. The, well, the, there's always more shitty things, man. You know what I mean? This is a, your therapy session. Why don't you focus on the bright, like the good things? Yeah, Give us some good things. Some, now. Okay, Go that on. was three shitty things. Three good things. So okay. that? My neighbor just got a new dog. And that's pretty cute. What kind of dog? Uh, I don't know what kind to be honest. It's like it's like who, who cares? No, no, no. That's, that, for him, that's a good <laughs> thing. <laughs> you just look outside, like, oh, that makes me feel good. I guess. Oh, I well, guess, yeah. He's nice. We're you, trying to cheer him up. Just, like, <laughs> who cares about you, you bro? Move on. Are you like? Are you even allowed to pet him? Like, won't so, your mom so, like chase you down? Well, like, probably. But like, <laughs> the other day, him and I had a moment. I was like, <laughs> I got out of my car and I was like, walking like. Because you guys know where I park my car like on the edge of my driveway, right? Mm -hmm. So my parents can get around it. So he was like, so I get out of my car and I'm facing my house. And then like my neighbor's house is obviously beside me. They're my neighbor, you know, Makes go sense. figure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his, this, and the dog's like chilling. Like with, like with his face, like pokes through the, his little face pokes through the, the bars of the fence. And I'm like walking up with my gym bag, just get out of my car. I'm like walk to the front door. And the dog sees me and I have a decision to make, right? I got to go to my front door or I go see the dog. Yeah, to see the dog. And the dog, like, every time I stood close to it, it would start to go, like, and, like, get, like, excited and, like, move its head around and stuff. And then I get to the front and its head was stuck in the thing. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, it wasn't trying to call me over. It's just fucking stuck in the fence. So, like, I was like, oh, it's excited to see me. You no, know, I go no, and, like, get its head out and it just fucking fence. runs back into the backyard. And I was just like... That's well, fuck true. this, man. Maybe maybe that's another thing to put in the shitty list. I was going to say, that doesn't seem like a good thing <laughs> yeah. then after. That's hilarious. Yeah. But it's cute. Okay, so four shitty things. <laughs> yeah. Name some good things. Um, well, I guess that's exciting. It's a, it's a, it's a, it goes both ways, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't you, know what the dog's You get to is. see a cool dog, but then you realize it's not your dog? It's not mine. Yeah. It reminds me of when I did have a dog at school. Mm -hmm. and it, that and you paid and for. It kind of hurts. I got, I, got, I got robbed of. Yeah, yeah. Just, that's, um, that sucks. Yeah, I know. I've been above 200 pounds for two weeks now. Big. That's big. Literally. Um, football starting football soon. Star, I was just going to say football starts soon. <laughs> yeah, but the, we, we, you got to keep that hush hush. That might be taken away. No. I, I hope not. I'm so scared to get invested into it and have it just get stripped from my grasp. Rob, mm -hmm. hypothetical. Okay. No. Football don't, starts up. Don't say it. Everything's great. You know, first two weeks go by smoothly. You're loving it. Kirk and all his cousins are, you know, scoring touchdowns. As and usual. Then, and then the stripper gets Kirk. Kirk and all strippers. the entire <laughs> the entire Vikings team gets COVID, but only the Vikings. <laughs> Literally, the, I don't know how it, it happens, but only the Vikings get COVID, and they get kicked out of the season. That's not gonna happen. The, no, but hypothetical. Okay, I'd cry. Oh, I I almost oh. cried when the season didn't start. Really? Yeah. Well, it, I wasn't crying, but I was like, I was, just sad. I was sitting there, I was thinking just to myself, I'm like, man, if this doesn't happen. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I have so much. Like literally my entire life revolves around I've said this before. As soon as the fall comes around, then my entire life revolves around it. You know what I mean? Like I schedule all my social outings around football games. <laughs> oh, my, we've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> fantasy, you know, everything I talk and discuss amongst my friends. It's all football related. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So if that doesn't occur, what am I gonna talk about? I don't know, maybe you'll have to find a personality. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Basketball find a new sport. <laughs> I don't know. Soccer? Tennis? The Raptors Wol are playing as Wolves we speak. are gonna be playing next week. Yeah, I should probably get, get more back. into soccer, yeah. Because that's not going anywhere. I, I just like tune, like I'll tune out for like a month and then be into soccer for a week and then message Niall every day, try, try to update myself and then tune out, then tune back in, Pretty then much. tune out. There's probably a good soccer. There's a lot, probably a lot of soccer fans that watch the, the thing we don't talk about soccer enough. You know what I mean? The most, assuming some of them are from the UK and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Who's the big... Um, no, and Messi just said he was going. He's Messi gonna wants stay. to leave, but he's yeah. like trapped in Barcelona. Well, he made an yeah. announcement. He only has to stay Dude, a year. I saw, I saw this like all these photos of him earlier on his way to practice, and he looks like so depressed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just him driving his like McLaren. Well, like, didn't they just P1. lose like seven one or something like that to a well, team? Yeah, after in that one, he was yeah. like, yeah, after, I after that he's like, I'm out. But and then they're like, no, nah, you have a contract. <laughs> but he only he only has to stay a year, right? And then he's got a clause that he can just walk away for free. Yeah. So just put in the year but he's claiming that they like said he could leave and then they're like yeah you're messy we it's because you. yeah so so at the beginning wow when was it in like march this year there was that same clause he could have left but he stayed yeah, and like then apparently his contract said he could have left yeah but, but then he's like because of covid that should be pushed back because the rest of the season was pushed back and they're like yeah. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> you, what was the buyout? It was like seven, 700 million <laughs> euros. Yeah, I if think? someone wanted to buy out his contract, yeah. they had to pay so the no other. One, they had no to, one can do that. No. You know? There's like, they're not getting any revenue from like ticket sales. 700 million yes. euros. That just, was his contract. And, and then you have to pay him on top of that. Too, yeah, that right? would yeah, just go that's, to. That's just to buy out his contract and then they'd have to pay whatever like wages he wants. And you know, Messi's making like <laughs> half a mil a week. Yeah. Probably. Like, what's his like current like pay grade? Probably half a mil a week. Yeah, like I gotta him, assume somewhere Ronaldo around there. and Bill are like all making about that. So twenty six million a year. Yeah, that I thought they got right. way more than well, that. Well, because the sponsorship There's extra and like incentives and stuff. He's like always scoring the most goals and like. Wait, so Messi's Messi's well. salary is. Sure he gets tons of bonuses. So he gets paid. He makes twenty six million euros per year. Probably. Like, probably. What probably well, he would make significantly sort of, like, more. Wouldn't that be less than like an NFL? Yeah, quarterback? Nah, dude, this guy's got his Adidas sponsorships. But like, but like, like core contract, Instagram shit. Though. Kind of, but NFL. Keep in mind, most of their contracts are all like it says you make twenty six, but most of that's incentive driven too. Also, True. Messi's had he's had like a fifteen year, seventeen year career, I think so far. <laughs> So he's Football been making that for like crippled yeah. after like <laughs> yeah. six, seven. But he's been making that for fifteen years. It's very rare that like a football player would play as long as a soccer player. It's Tom Brady. Right? And like the ones really, that do the few. ones that do play that long, you can tell are pretty fucking it's, worse it's, for wear. It's literally take care of themselves. It's yeah. literally like only quarterbacks and yeah. and Larry Fitzgerald. And Frank Gore. Yeah, there's like a yeah. very and then there's like one per each position, but yeah. it's almost just quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't take the hits. That's true, actually. Frank, well, minus Frank Gore, he's a like running back. Usually, so last like he seven should be years. dead. Yeah, <laughs> mathematically, Frank Gore they should be laugh. dead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but There's actually, something left of yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. There's the fucking scraps just tossed into uh, football pads and just like get out there. Yeah, but seven hundred million dollars to break contract. Have, have we had the debate where if you take one athlete from, if you had to choose one athlete from any sport and apply them to like every sport, who would be the best? Probably LeBron. You'd think. He seems like he's a freak. A fucking animal. But like, could the Brown play hockey though? <sighs> I'm sure. He'd Hockey's like impossible out, though. None of them could. That would be everyone's weak link. I'd say yeah. Michael Jordan. Play baseball. He played basketball. He play he's halfway Michael there. Well. Yeah. He played. He okay. played it. He yeah. played okay. I thought he like was kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, they, if he would have done like what he was supposed to, like start at like single A, double A, triple yeah. A, they just dropped him in triple A. Said, "Here's, we're not changing your salary. You're not playing basketball, but we'll play you your basketball salary." He was okay. Yeah. And, and like keep he, in mind, he was good enough that the Monstars wanted to draft him. The Monstars. <laughs> but keep in mind, like he had to change completely how he's built too. Yeah. He didn't really have enough time to even do that. He was only yeah. just getting baseball ready when he's like, yeah, they're going on strike. I'm gonna go back to basketball now. Fuck this. I just, I just can't see, like, any game, any sport that involves intense physical contact. Most of like basketball or soccer players, I feel would like. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess. The, you would, then you can make the argument the other way too. So like a football player would be able to last in a soccer game. Like, oh, hundred percent. Cardiovascular. Did they need oxygen after like <laughs> one sprint? <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. Oh no. It's, yeah, dude. When I whenever oh, I make that argument on stream, people get so. I pissed. remember that. It depends who you are, yeah. But like an old lineman can't be playing soccer. You know what I mean? But no. like Richard no. Sherman probably could be. I wonder if like Kirk and all his cousins could fill any. Did you see Kirk? Did you, did you see Kirk's quote about the COVID? I was gonna say, did you talk? Did you did you hear about this? No. Oh, his take was great. I messaged Rob as soon as I on saw on COVID. It. Yeah. Yes. What was it? If if it kills me, it kills me. Is it, if I die, I, <laughs> like it's huh. a great quote. He's just like they asked him. They're like, oh, like huh. what are you what are you gonna do if someone like? And he's like, if I die, I die. And like that's it. And they're like, uh, uh, if, it like yeah. stunned the they're, reporter. They were like interviewing him, and they were like, they, there was like a. It was like a pretty normal interview, and then they were like, they get to the COVID stuff, and then the guy's just like, "So, like Kirk, like, uh, he's like, you get COVID, what do you do?" And the guys, and Kirk's just like, you know, if I die, I die. And there's just this, 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 this like this, this like silence, like ten seconds. It's just blank. And then Kirk's just like, yeah, like, like, if it happens, it happens. It happens yeah. I mean, I guess that's basically the American ideology. Yeah, but, right but he now. Kinda, yeah. he's like, oh, I'm gonna wear a mask out of respect for the people and shit, but like. Ultimately, if I die, I He's fucking die. He's already more than most people, man. Mm-hmm. Be smart, yo. Do you wear a mask while you're weightlifting? For the most part. I'd say I have it on like 75% of the time. Do you but like, only take it off for the selfies? Yeah. Well, no, I have to leave it on for the selfies because I'll get shamed if I post one without wearing it. Mm-hmm. Shamed. Mm-hmm. I, I did that by accident. I posted like a story on Instagram the other day of me not wearing my mask at the gym. First three responses, 
I thought they were going to be like girls being like, oh, you look so hot and sexy, but they, but they weren't. <laughs> One of them was my cousin being like, hey, 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 if your mom sees this without you wearing a mask, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Just sends send you a your screenshot <laughs> of her like ready to send the photo. And then the, 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 the other two were people just from like Discord and shit being like, yeah, yeah where's, where's your mask? And I That's thought to myself, funny. if these people are like these 17 year old people are thinking this. You got to think it, many other people are thinking. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I'm not trying to make my reps. Someone who doesn't give a fuck. How does me. how is your like mask though? Like for mine, like climbing, I wore like I wear it a hundred. As soon as I walk in, I don't take it off till I leave. Mine today was like I don't know. I, I had like a an hour and a half like workout today. Yeah, it was like like soaked in sweat, like yeah. almost to the point where like the the mask itself was like damp. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, that's usually mine at the end. And then the, what I do is like. I I'll sometimes wash it with like hand soap. And just That's what I do at soap. home. Yeah. Or I'll just hang it up on my thing and just leave it, let it out in the sun for an entire day. Mm -hmm. The sun kills germs. It's underrated uh, bacteria killer. It's yeah, kills COVID. Sun kills yeah. COVID. Yeah. yeah, that's why Australia doesn't have any COVID. Yeah, exactly. Just too much sun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's definitely yeah, it. Like if you get if you get COVID, just like go lie in the sun for an hour and you're and you're golden. You're fine. Rob, it's mathematic. Everyone who's been exposed to the sun has has recovered from COVID. So you know what I mean. Except for those who died. Except for Florida. Yeah, that's they're the, they're well, the Florida, exception. Everything in Florida is backwards. It <laughs> yeah, so they're all dying because of the sun. Yeah. yeah. Rob, I want to mention. Um, it had come to my attention. I didn't find this out, but it had come to my attention that apparently you had posted something on Instagram, like a story for when you were at the gym and you geotagged your location. Yeah. And you could see exactly what gym you go to. Yeah. Unlucky. Do you know why I do that? Why? Because there's hot and sexy ladies that go to my gym. And a couple times they've... Oh, they've, I see. They've, so they'll they've, find they've, him through the... Geo so like they click on like Waterloo Good Life. And then you get all the pictures from Wiley <laughs> Good Life. No, that's a that's a veteran move. So that's there now. I want to go back to the whole, you know, posting your old driver's license on that was different. the internet. That was my exact address with like my and on. all of your socials or social insurance. No, my, my stuff, social insurance. But, so like it right? has your driver's license number, which is also something you should not be posting. What yeah, that when he learned his lesson. Yeah. A geotag is different. He's not yeah. geotagging like laying in bed. <laughs> he puts his house. <laughs> I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Days. Yeah. Well, what know. am I going to do, man? I'm going to show up to the gym. There's going to be like fucking... So the only reason... I'm going to be there being like, hey, man. The up? only reason I express my concern is because there's been a huge uptick in uh, streamers online getting stalked. And not like in the, oh, like, cool, I have a stalker. Like, uh, you're about to fucking die type hmm. of situation is this because like no one has anything else to do I, for maybe well, one i'll be at the gym i'll be swole as fuck because i'll be lifting you know yeah i've one, heard muscle stop bullets they're gonna take one look at me and be like i'm not trying to fight this guy today i'll come back tomorrow and then i won't be there the next day who's, like, <sighs> who's gonna have a gun trying to come kill me at the gym though the crazy kid yeah, that's yeah. been stalking you. But like, why would he want to kill me? <laughs> Blinging his twenty-seven have followers. You, yeah. or 27 have you accounts? never heard of like all of the incidents that happened the last few years of like YouTubers and Twitch streamers getting like hunted down with people with guns trying to kill them? Well, if you had to, if you, if you had to make odds for me getting shot down at good life, zero point zero 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 one. It's low, yeah, but it's you like, know what brings it down to zero percent? <laughs> Not, Not geotagging geo your location. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're fine. Yeah. I like to think like if, if, Again, bunch if of... someone just combed through all our, the videos, they know like That's the region true. where we live. The mm -hmm. issue is, is like, there's no way they can track us down from there except geotag locations. Yes. <laughs> but that's or still a very, location. a very generic location. Like we're not going to tell them you live 20 minutes away from that. We're not going to tell them that yeah. you take yeah. two lefts and a right. And you're yeah. 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 We're not going to say, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I post a geotag at the gym. I'm like, then I put directions in the <laughs> To get back to my house. <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand, like, you know, Dude, doing you gotta, it. You I'm waiting little, for man. him to, like, take a... <laughs> you have to bait people, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to, like, you know, like, there's that app that tracks you while you run. Yeah. And you, like, draw something. I'm waiting for him to do one of, like, oh, look at the bike ride I did today. And it That's just, just like that. starts at his house and ends at his house. He <laughs> posts it. I just draw a deck in my neighborhood. <laughs> but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. Like, oh, look, this is so funny. And it's just you're at your house at the end. I've actually looked at the plan of my neighborhood or this neighborhood. And we could, you could do a pretty like, 
solid, a solid deck. one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about it, but like, that's also another reason why I have some concern is just because now that I live here, <laughs> I'm also at risk. I mean, the first day we we're here, I almost took a picture of the front of the house with the number on it. Yeah, he showed me. He's like, "Can I post this?" I'm like, "No." no. <laughs> no <laughs> He's like, "Why can't. not? You won't be able to find him." Like, "You're just posting my home." Address. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, come come check out Versa Gaming's new crib. It's at this address. We're having a party on this day. Are you gonna yeah. have a house for one party at any point? Do you think? When like we've like we've been here. Well, like had how long have we been here? Six months. Like, like you had a house for six months. Two, three. Three maybe. It's been three. My feels like forever. Yeah. June. Like three. Yeah. It's only June. Like we like we you, moved in June you have seventh. Had a, that you, feels you, like you forever. You have had a house room party, but I mean like inviting like people from outside of Canada and shit. COVID is like your gamer friends. Oh, well, I mean, the border's not open. One day. Isn't it open yet? No. No. We were. They pushed it back like 10 times now. Yeah. yeah. Did I did I talk to you guys about travel? No. I was doing some research. So I can get to like Mexico, I can get to Iceland, I get to a bunch of countries in Europe with just a negative test. Hmm. That's it. Really? You just have to have like, I think it's maybe one or two. You can get on the flight, you just prove it to them and you're good. The hmm. issue is fucking coming back to Canada. Two weeks, no negotiation. I can't give them a negative test, so. Well, you have to quarantine for two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Came back from Greece. But like, you can go to like, for example, no, Iceland's the perfect yeah. perfect example. You can go to Iceland right now and show prove to them that you you don't have it, and they're like, okay, good, cool, do your thing. Yeah. But when you come home, two weeks, and it, home, it, it makes sense, but it just makes me mad. That mm. reminds me, I had a, I was on a client call in Hawaii. This is actually one of the. You were in Hawaii. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. He just green screened like one of the <laughs> one of the one of the rare times I actually enjoy my job. It's okay. getting, getting to talk to people from different, you know, cool locations. And Friday was actually cool. I got to talk to a guy who was about to go to Bangkok. From Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, or no, he wasn't he was not the same dude, but he was gonna go there eventually because he's a he has a property there. I like how you paused after saying it waiting for some reaction. He has a property there? Where's he? I'm confused. So he's like a, like these guys love to boast about like, oh, I have a property in this state, yeah, yeah. this type of what. And it's like, it's always just the most random fucking spots. This is front fog up again. We're good. Anyway, so Hawaii, this one guy I was talking to, he owns a, a brokerage in Hawaii, but he says like, it's, they have it like crazy, crazy lockdown and like everything's very procedural there where if you get to the, like, once you come into Hawaii, mm-hmm. you have to go straight to your hotel room. They unlock it for you, toss you in there and you can't leave your room. Yeah, for two weeks straight, or you get arrested and tossed out of say, the country. There was tons of cases I've seen cool. in the news where, yeah. where somebody's just like chill, oh, chilling, on the, <laughs> like they're just chilling on the beach, and like the police come up, like, okay, come with us. Yeah, see see as ya. soon as you leave your room, you're fucked. Yeah, you, you, they got snitches everywhere. Yeah, you have yeah. to like, and they have like literally like like snitches, like people who are paid to wa- like watch your room and mm-hmm. watch your thing. That's good. No, but, it's great, but, but you, can, you can do that on an island. You can yeah. lock things down like that. Mm-hmm. But, but the thing is, he's the guy was telling me, he's like, it makes no sense because, like, I come in with a, with a negative test and, like, they freak out. But, like, it's all the local population that has the um, on, like, up, like, rising cases and stuff like that. So he says it's, like, Hawaii has a backwards where, like, they should be quarantining their, like, more of their local population. But, like, because the local population, like, they can do whatever they want realistically. Mm-hmm. I'll probably get corrected, but he was telling me, like... Well, it's probably the same rules if you have it locked down and then they'll, yeah, they'll check up like, on you. He's like, not, mo- almost everything is open. And, like, the locals can do whatever they want, but people who come in are, like, treated like they're a fucking... Like, they're, like, literally, like, they, they're all treated like they have it. You know what I mean? You know what would be sweet is, like, if... A time like this going to like a nice resort in like Mexico or Dominican or like Hawaii because like it'd be the only time in the hit like in history that you would have the like everything to yourself. Yeah, let's do it. I (laughs) you would to go to Hawaii. (laughs) Well, Hawaii is a bad example, but like Iceland, think of that. It would be perfect. But to go to Iceland, you would need Mm -hmm. you could go for like a week, a couple days, doesn't matter. But then you'd need I'd need fucking three weeks off because I still can't come home and work. Yeah, it'd be great. I need to fucking travel, dude. I just stay here all yeah. day. Yeah, it'd be fine for you. I wanted to travel so bad this year. Yeah. Well, all you get, you normally travel like every year, right? Yeah, I try to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. But I mm-hmm. wanted to go out west to like Banff. You can still and do that. It, I mean, I could, but I just don't want to really be on a plane right now. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a good... That, oh, that'd be a great idea too, though, if we 
if we just went somewhere in Canada, like if like come yeah, winter you, you time, wouldn't, you wouldn't have to uh, quarantine technically. No, but it, it comes. Well, yeah, it it depends, depends on the province. Like mm-hmm. if you go out east, like Nova Scotia, and them are they're fucking like if you cross the border, we're gonna yeah. interrogate yeah, your ass and just fucking arrest you. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but like, um, we don't want that shit. But yeah. you <laughs> think of that, like even Banff would be a perfect example. Like you're not getting all the Americans coming up. You're not getting tourists coming in. B- BC is like the biggest issue I think right now because a lot of people are claiming that they're like driving through to go to Alaska. They close. Yeah. They close that and loophole though. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah I now can't remember how. Well, no, you can still drive, but you have like X amount of time. And they're like looking for cars. Like they're looking for plates now. Oh, They'll that's like good. question you. Yeah. It is good. And I'm pretty sure they give you, I don't know. I think they give you like a pass or something. Like it literally says like you have this much time to get out of the country. So. <laughs> it's just like. Out? We're we'll still finding. Yeah. We're just yeah. a gray box. Fucking SWAT team. <laughs> it's a gray box with like the red numbers and it's just ticking down. That'd be down. sick if they like they force you to take like a fucking tracker or something. It's like your car will explode if it's still on the It's a time bomb. <laughs> but, um, you are actually are going to Alaska, but you just drive slow and the time runs. Like, yeah. Oh, let's oh, like, 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 let's stop for Timmy's on the way. Boom, but uh, just blow I, up I never thought of that. Like, think of how crazy it normally would be. It's still gonna be nuts because Canadians still go there, but it won't be anywhere near what it is. Yeah, I do. I just do for that's a great idea. Yeah, like, like one of my friends is going to BC and Alberta. We should we like should go future. February go camping vacation or something, bro. Yeah, just go camping, do a nature fucking retreat. Me and Drew have a week off at the end in, at the end of October. You should take it off. I'll, if if you guys want to go like camping or something, I'd be down. Cool. Because like, I just need to get out of my fucking this neighborhood, bro. I was just I saying. I told shit. Drew what we should do is just like 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 take five days, and then just drive as far as we can in a day. Like obviously plan it out. Don't just do this. <laughs> right? as far as yeah, but that, and then like <laughs> like camp there, like something near there. You know, you plan it. You plan it out. Yeah. I'm not just saying you drive in and Kingston, then right. you're like this seems like a good place to camp. No, just, no. Just, just pitch a tent. And, like, in a day, what, can, you can drive like 15 hours in a day easy yeah. if you have a bunch of people. I mean, you could. But I, I don't think you should. <laughs> do I don't that. want to. In October. <laughs> We just go to, go in Tobermory. Okay, well, like down. Yeah, it's a two hours. It, but there's nothing to do in October in Tobermory. Well, anywhere, any natural park, it's gonna be hikes and shit. That point. yeah, I'm down. if you're going in October, it's gonna be like probably maybe not snowing, but it'll be really cold, mm-hmm. and you're just gonna pitch a tent. Let's go. Yeah. No, definitely. Let's go up to like Algonquin then. Yeah, or something. that'd be so sick. It's already like getting cold up there. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I don't Canadian. own. Yeah, I don't Canadian. own a winter jacket. I don't care. I would. Say <laughs> I fucking. I can't wait for the snow, man. Like, oh. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm decently snow. pumped because we're already at, we're getting to that point. Where we're in that middle stage. Where yeah. I'm like, fuck. I don't want to go outside. I, it's like I'm, eight out this morning at five a.m. and it sucked. And I've then I realized yeah. it was five a.m. and I love snow, dude. I don't know what it is. I think it, like. As soon as the first snowfall comes, I'll literally be like running around outside, being like, "Yes, this is the best day ever." I just love when it's cold. I like Christmas, but like cold weather and snow and like Meh. dirty like slushy well, yes, soupy th- shit that's on not the road fun. that's not fun but like <laughs> i just love i don't know man i just love like i'd i'd, I'd rather be outside on like a, on like a sunny snowy day than like a summer beach day call me crazy you crazy. are crazy. Well, yeah. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. And know. yet you went to like Cuba for a vacation. I loved it. I loved yeah. it Here's but, the like, thing like the sunny like they go it would go like a sunny beach day would be one and then there's all those like middle days where it's like fucking chilly or fall or raining or get that shit out of here. Like a nice snowy day is sick. Yeah. Um, it's like if, if you guys could cook up your ideal weather uh, temperature, like, okay, what, ideal temperature sure, kind of. 30, 35, no humid. Yeah, no humidity. Yeah. And I agree. No clouds, like bright blue sky. I yeah. love heat. But Done. Humidity. If it's like humidity, just balls. Because usually feel like wet. Usually yeah. here, as soon as you hit 30, 35, it, it feels like fucking forty. Yeah. yeah. And you're yeah. just you walk outside and it's like it's the air is heavy. Yeah, it's gross. Don't Do you guys like hear it. what it's like in California right now? Yeah, it's like fucked, fucking dude. 48 or 45. Or 48. Yeah, dude, like there's so much smoke <laughs> and shit in the air. The air is like it's, on fire. Th- it's gross. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. But I'd say like minus like fifteen. Minus ten or fifteen, no wind, but like super cold. I'm not gonna lie, that's sick too. And yeah. then just kind of just like like a foot of snow everywhere, but dude. That's a, that's a bless right there, man. I don't know. Rob, if you complain once this entire winter about anything winter related, 
I'm gonna fucking bend you well, over and spank your ass. Oh, there's gonna Shoveling. be times you complain. Shoveling sucks, but aside from that, I don't here's really the mind. thing: like winter was awesome until you become an adult and you actually have to drive have to function. It. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it fucking like sucks I, ass now. I just don't like driving in the winter. Yeah, it Me sucks. Like I, I'm okay with driving myself and stuff, but like so many people just don't know how to drive in snow. And yeah, don't get winter tires. And I was gonna yeah, say the like, whole non-winter tire thing. I saw I, my winters haven't. I never switched mine because I was gonna I switch mine like March 30th. <laughs> But then quarantine yeah, started March fifteenth, and then they've just I just couldn't rebook until like <laughs> April, late April, and then my parents were like, "You're gonna drive your car like fifteen times between now and winter. Just fucking leave them on, park in the garage." Yeah, I, like, I did quicker the same. By doing yeah. that, but like, yeah, one year is like it's not, not like the, a big well, dude, deal if you're not driving. And the thing lot. is, my winter tires are super old, so like. At you this point, it doesn't care, make a difference. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get, probably buy a new car. It's in gonna two have like years. three holes instead of in two. Two years. Like I have yeah. mine on different. The winter rims. tires aren't making it two years. Well, like I'm just hoping. I, I'm betting this winter I don't have to commute, so I can just. That's chill oh, you're just chilling. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I have mine on like separate rims, so like yeah. I just put them on myself. That's same uh, with mine. Well, I gotta learn how to yeah, do that shit, man. Mine. It's I can't do convenient just doing it yourself. Dude, you pop the hood on my car. I can't do shit. I same with like the wheels. I can't do anything with my car. I don't learn how to do that. I have to like change or add oil to mine because my car somehow like some cars like you can put oil in and then when you go to get your oil changed like levels don't change at all. Mine like slowly goes down. It's not leaking. Yeah, but I don't know where it goes. My, my boss told old, my old boss once told me he's like, learn how to do your own oil and shit because you can save yourself like five hundred bucks per year. I wouldn't want to do an oil change. It's not even like saving the money. I just like knowing how to do it just in so case. I don't have to fucking go and pay someone. Yeah, mm-hmm. some it. pay some like, fucking it'll, it'll loser. Only take, like, <laughs> I'm kidding. Like putting the different. This is the guy who worked on. at a Cal Tire for one day, and they were <laughs> all assholes. Putting like my winter tires on, like at most it'll take like half hour. Yeah, like, my my dad like, has like one of those like fucking NASCAR like I don't know the bolt things. things. So it's, choo, 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 choo. To do, go on and off. Well, yeah, like, like yeah, you make an appointment, but it's you like might sixty to, like, bucks. Wait like an hour or two. And well, yeah. garages are fucking scummy too, man. That's one thing I've learned. It's like. They're mm-hmm. always trying to like, find a way, way to. Uh, that's why. Yeah, I yeah. Like, oh, by the way, fuck. I remember I dropped my car off to get my winters changed at the dealership across from my gym or beside yeah. it, and like I was just like, "Hey, I just want my shit changed." Just this. And then the guy's like, "He's like, oh, can we can we take a look around just to like?" And and he's like, "Just breaking." And he's like, "We'll we'll let you know if we find anything," and I'm like, "Sure, but I'm I'm not paying for shit, right? I'm only want my things." I go back. They have an invoice for a thousand dollars, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Jeez. I remember I have I have the invoice on my in my car slide. You think. know what I'm thinking of when you say that? What? Just the pod racing scene in <laughs> yeah. Star Wars. Dude, that was on that was on He's TV like this morning. Snapping morning. something off. Your that car. was on TV this morning, episode one. It was oh, yeah. He probably comes back with like, "He's like, this is your gas tank. It just fell out. Yeah, I don't, you I need don't a know new how one." <laughs> but I was like. I was like, dude, I'm a student. Like, I'm not. This is like, like two years ago. I'm like, I'm not paying this. I didn't agree to any of that. So like, I got a bunch of work done for free because they just did it without asking me. And then the, they they were trying to like, <laughs> the guy was trying to prove that he called me to ask that if it was okay if he did it. But he only had the one call off his phone to my phone, which was the one call being like, "Hey, can we look?" Not, "Hey, can we look?" And then do it. So I was like. I didn't give him the finger. I was like, "Fuck you, buddy." Like, you, saved. You, you tried to do this, but I literally was sitting there That's going scummy. through my fucking call history in the middle of it i was like i only have one missed call from him that was the first call but i'm trying to prove to the fucking receptionist lady that like this guy dripped me off yeah oh, man that's no fun. scumbags bro they're everywhere <laughs> scumbag of the year some sebulba should be sebulba yeah. yeah that's exactly what i was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only time i ever have to do car stuff is for like my wheels and stuff but i got mine off in july because quarantine yeah for, for, we mm-hmm. just didn't leave the house for harry potter's birthday what for Harry Potter's birthday? July, I think, yeah. yeah, July thirty first. Nice. Okay, is that why you did it? Yeah, <laughs> no, that's why. Just to celebrate. Yeah, and I hate Rob. The same with uh, Fred and George, bro. Remember what their birthday is? No. April first. Hmm. Oh, because they're a joke. <laughs> yeah, that's literally when their birthday is. They're a bunch of tricksters. And then J.K. Rowling's gonna come out, come along, and be like, "Yeah, Fred and George are." They're actually girls. Yeah, they're actually <laughs> girls this whole time. Jeez. No, but like the, I'm not going to go too far into the J.K. Rowling stuff, but the fact that she, they kind of, I don't know how we got here, but she kind of ret- retroactively. <laughs> you, 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 you were the only. You did this. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I, I had to have some deep-seated hatred yeah, for J.K. So. Rowling that just she got seems like activated. a bitch. Yeah, she does. Her she Twitter seems like Harry Potter, she, she seems like Ellen. She seems like a, 
yeah. kind of shitty person. Well, she like mm-hmm. retroactively went and was like, Dumbledore's gay, this and that. It's all different about the story. Like, sure, if it was part of the lore, that's fine. But like to come back and say, yeah, it I don't just know why it's 2020. I don't know, I don't know like, why you need to do that. that. But like, I've just heard she's like just a shitty person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Just Rob like, just straight out ignorant. hates it that she made someone gay. No, that's not it at all. Rob, come think, on, man. No. I'm very oh, it's 2020. Accept- I'm very accepting and open. I asked in J.K. Rowling, yeah, it's kind of stupid in the sense that she's mean to people. I mean, like, even some of the actors from the movies have, like, called her out mm-hmm. for being, like, sexist or, like, transphobic and stuff. Damn. Well, isn't she, like, really transphobic? Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah. I heard yeah, about that stuff, but it's I, don't, not, I don't know what the details are. not a good were. look for her, but <laughs> I like Harry Potter. Her stories are yeah, good. I need a new one soon, bro. It's fucking. She made apart. anything else after Harry Potter? I don't know she, if that's dumb, uh, but she started writing some books under like another name, and it was Robert Gilbreth. And they're, probably, they uh, they're probably shit. I read one, The Cookie's Calling. It's called. Mm-hmm. And it's just like a thriller. Is it hmm. good? It was good. Yeah. I heard that most of the books were like, I guess not mediocre, like a little bit above mediocre. It was but then good, they but like, only like really got popular because people found out who it was. Yeah. And then everyone bought it. Like it's amazing. I could see mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Like, That's it wasn't fair. anything outstanding, but... Can I be honest, yo? Ever since I won that short story competition reading my class that year for with Mr. P and Regiscroft... Mr. P, yeah. Yeah. Remember that short story competition? I think so, yeah. The one that I won? Ever since then, he was always like, man, you have a really creative mind, and, like, your writing is very fluent and, like, strong. <laughs> I've always thought, like, man, I should fucking write a book. <laughs> write a book yeah. About what? I don't know. I have, like, a, I have, yeah, like a whole... Something. I have like a whole like lore in my head of like characters, locations. Tell us something. I don't want to. Tell us a story. I think it's gonna fucking. You're just <laughs> no, gonna someone will steal it. Someone will steal. You're it. just gonna roast the shit out of <laughs> Rob. I don't want to say this like in no, a mean no, way. no, no, no. But I'm like, ready. I'm ready. Based on how you organize your thoughts and what you say, I can't imagine you could have like a very. You need fluid, someone to like jump in. Thought. Let me send you the story that won. You can read it. I, I I believe that it it's good, but like I just I can't picture you just being like the fluently mastermind. like writing out a story. I just, my thing is like, I like I've just, I've kind of pieced it together on like a piece of paper, being like main character story. But thing is, I always want to be like adding shit after I have like say I kind of make like a first like cut of what i want to have in it i always want to go back and add shit that i think would like that's so that's the thing it's like i need to mm-hmm. kind of come out with like a linear thought process but i don't know i do want to try writing a book one day like no cap and just kind of see how it goes no just cap, dive into facts. it quit quit your job quit streaming you'll i'll quit i'll just quit in. everything just go bro. All in. Yeah, yeah yeah i'll sell my car tomorrow Fuck no it. no keep, <laughs> keep the car the car the car's worthless it's got the, the viking sticker it's not worth anything yeah. anymore oh fuck that's that's yeah, you might have to pay someone. <laughs> no but for real someone's like, looking at the car like oh this is a very nice car i'll give you two oh see the thing is you owe me money yeah <laughs> the thing like don't waste my time i'm i i love stories that kind of have like like one kind of hidden thing that you're working towards the whole time like you know lemony snicket's unfortunate events there's like the vfd which you don't really know about do you guys, do you guys read those books i remember i read like the first mm-hmm. chapter and then what I is this it's, never picked it up it's more of like a narnia it's just like Harry potter the, the, narnia. Lemony Snicket's <laughs> and serious fortune events there's like this whole secret society that you don't know anything about the entire oh serious yeah 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 I, and that's like that's the, like the only I, I read harry potter and series and fortune event yeah. that's the only two it's i like the whole series <laughs> works towards this whole secret society thing that you or desperate to know about and like book after book after book passes and you don't know anything about it mm-hmm. that kind of thing where like you're you're just kind of this like end unknown goal you're just the whole series works towards kind of like game of thrones like who's going to be king harry potter kind of like you kind of knew what was going to happen the whole time yeah that's why i'd like harry potter was a really good series but the fact that like you kind of knew what was going to happen it was just a matter of how versus well, kind like, of like a few twists and turns, i was gonna say so. at the yeah. beginning you have no well, idea like, there's the whole snape shit i mean like yeah. once they introduced like the horcruxes you know like there's what? like what needs to be done yeah mm-hmm. there's still some stuff it's that just happens. it's just that kind of thing where it's like i don't know it's like I, it's I, kind of hard to write or be creative about because you don't know you're basically like describing the difference between like popular media now like the avengers where it's just like the same story over and over again like you know exactly how it's gonna play out yeah mm-hmm. you just go there I for like the I cool f- stuff i forgot about series of unfortunate events i don't remember how it, it ends really and now it's gonna books. bug me I f- i'm gonna have to look it up too to remind myself of the lore mm-hmm. shakes i just up, remember them the trying <laughs> trying to do like a movie and they released like the first three books in one movie yeah yeah it was fucking that. awful yeah. was it jim carrey or something yeah and the show so. was decent 
I watched. There was like, a show. I, I watched Neil Patrick first Harris was two in that. episodes or something. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's like it's just, dude. It's literally depressing because like oh, it warns yeah, you. Thing. It's like wasn't the whole story like isn't it like the their parents fun. die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 and then the, they're just getting moved around. The start yeah. of the show is like yeah. Neil Patrick Harris looking at the camera, being like, "This show is going to depress the hell out of you." Like, yeah, there's yeah. no happy ending. Just when you think something's going to go right for them, it's not going to go right. Don't bother uh, watching if you if you're not ready for this. Yeah, all I remember is like the second one, the, the like just reading it in the book. It's like this beautiful house, like up on a fucking like cliff top. Yeah, and it's like hanging over the cliff top, <laughs> just like, being held up. Like one piece of wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like they get there, I'm like, it's just how it's gonna fucking collapse. They're fucking dead. And then it, it collapses, and the, and the fucking water is full of leeches and shit. Yeah, there's like these like, leeches like uh, in piranhas that kill you, huh. and like and the lady's like this like how freak. Be, yeah, she's like. Don't touch the doorknobs. They're going to explode. Don't yeah. do this. Don't do that. Like all this stuff. And then she gets in this boat. And then, with, so, and then the their evil uncle comes along and yeah. he's like wheeling. The wheeling chair. the lady. <laughs> and then they get in a boat together and he just like fucking pushes her into these fucking like leeches, leeches and piranhas and she just dies. Yeah. And then her, I don't remember how it happened. The fucking house fell off the cliff somehow. <laughs> yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. I do not remember all of this. I remember the next one too is like when they're with the big snake. Oh, and like yeah, the, yeah. And that, the, that, the little kids sitting with the yeah, snake, no, the snake's like wrapped up with them. <laughs> yeah. I think they're mixing up Harry Potter and <laughs> no, because <laughs> no, that's like two, three, and then in the movie it fucking jumps back to the yeah, end of the, one where they get married. The movie they did a really weird like they did one, two, three, yeah. ending of one. Yeah, but, I only watched a couple episodes of the show, and then I was like, eh. It's like it wasn't mm-hmm. the greatest. Like, yeah, the books from, were good though. Yeah, as a again, I read them as a kid though. I haven't read them. Aside from like it being like utterly depressing, it was pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only like series that I ever wanted to be made into a movie that actually ended up being made, but was apparently awful, was City of Ember. If you guys mm-hmm. ever I've never heard, heard of that, that, to be honest, I've it's heard pretty, of it. Pretty um, nerdy. It's like a story it. about people who live underground, like under a mountain. <laughs> And they've never seen daylight or anything. And it's because, like, human civilization was just going to, like, nuclear warfare. So everything turned into ember. Yeah. Well, makes sense. Sounds sure. like some uh, ember uh, Hunger Games shit. And then it's, like, a girl <laughs> who's in high school. They get their jobs. And then um, she starts, like, figuring stuff up. And, like, we, she goes to the library. And she's like, what's this word, boat? Well, like, fuck. Never it's used it's actually kind word. of reminds, it's remind, reminding me. I think, I'm, is there a, I think I read the first book in that. When I was a kid. Yeah, City of Ember. <laughs> and like they live in like a fucking like catacombs underneath the ground, right? The name sounds very basically. Familiar, yeah. but I never actually read it. And what? then like it's about her trying to figure out how to get out and then the end of the first book she gets out. And the whole point was like they had all these things in the library being like, Oh, this is how you make a boat, this is how you steer it and stuff because they wanted it, people to wait there for like a thousand years before they get back out into the world. Damn. And then by the time everyone had forgotten about all that technology because they didn't need boats underground they didn't need lights and stuff Mm -hmm. or like other sources of light um and then in the movie apparently when she's getting out like they have to go through all these like twists and turns i thought they hadn't yet no they did make it apparently it was really bad i never watched it but in the movie (laughs) when they're leaving through the tunnels and stuff there's like (laughs) trolls and cyclopses and like all these weird mythological creatures that are there to stop them and they fight them but in the book, it's just about like figuring out how to use a boat and how to get out of the fucking. Yeah, so you're not to fight a when they tried too hard, yeah. Yeah, they're like they went over the top with it. And apparently, it was really bad. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I was noticing on that line is like I read The Hobbit and then I watched the Hobbit movie, the first of it, and that was like completely different. Completely different, and it was almost like a buzzkill because yeah. like mm-hmm. there was parts from the movie or the parts from the book that I was looking forward to seeing, you know, brought to life in a movie. Like you read The Hobbit, right? Yep. You know that scene with like Tom Bombadil or Bombadil, the guy in the forest, and he has like I, that. He has like a elf wife, and like he's like the <laughs> god of the forest or something. I don't know. What? Honestly, anyway, I, I, read, just, I, read, I read The Hobbit when I was. Rob's just young. in it yeah. for the elf wife, <laughs> but like I remember the movie being like completely different. I just remember being like, like the movie was good, but like they focus so much on like making it this big like action movie. Yeah, it's like movies, it's like the entire. But then like the book is more like. A story, Bildo, yeah, progressing adventuring, like, right? Yeah. It's fucking not like the Battle of Five Armies, like the hell, yeah. like in the book that barely gets talked about. They also bring in characters that don't belong, right? Like Legolas, Legolas, is, yeah. Legolas isn't yeah. part of the lore in that movie. Yeah. Same yeah, with Gimli kind of and shit. It kind of makes sense. You're trying to hold people's attention. Well, it's the like movie. they're probably try- like on my thought process. The, the is book like, you're creating a world. Yeah, it's like they're trying to market the Hobbit. Uh, that, that's coming out after Lord of the Rings. They're thinking like, who, who can we stick on the front of the poster? Legolas, the guy who fucking. Everyone loved from Lord of the Rings. Might it's a line of bloom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People love him. But he wasn't... He didn't play Legolas in The Hobbit, right? 
They got someone else. Yeah, I did. No, you did. Yeah, it was in. Yeah. Oh, there's Legolas in there. Yeah. Oh, no, it was the guy who played what's his name, Aragon. Aragon. Yeah. That yeah. they it wanted him as uh, well or Vigo something, Martinson, and he's like, yeah. no, I'm not. Yeah. Vigo Mortensen. Yeah, that guy's a fucking. He's a fucking unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute unit. I would not want to f- fuck with that guy. Yeah. He, he's he broke his toe while filming. Remember. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I remember seeing it's like him. it's like the most common thing I see in the Lord of the Rings like subreddit when what? he like kicks the helmet. Yeah, he kicks the he helmet screams. and like he actually like broke his toe while filming. <laughs> they, they just like kept the scene in. I saw Perfect. I saw yeah. a meme about that that was just like it's guys trying to impress meme. girls and then it's just like when that scene comes up and you know that like meme face where they're like holding it in yeah. and like you see that vein <laughs> coming vein. out yeah. and it's just like waiting for that scene to pop up so you can tell the girl about the piece of trivia. You know? <laughs> Wait, like, That's the... me watching Star Wars. I'm like, Did this you is, the one where the guys in the class and he's just sitting there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that, that's the one. There's been so many good memes from that picture, bro. Mm-hmm. There's uh, the Lord of the Rings show is like coming to Amazon. What? Like, really? I, I what, don't know like, when what? it's actually gonna be released, but, but I think it's Peter Jackson. I saw too. that. My question is like, what's the sh- like? What? I have is no show idea like on? where in the timeline it is. Oh. Or, yeah. Fuck, they could. <laughs> if it is even the same story, I, I'm not sure. The Lord of the Rings timeline is fucking massive too. Yeah, well, it's Tolkien huge. had like. A bunch of other books that weren't necessarily like Lord of the Rings, it's but like, it's still like you could Middle link Earth it. stuff. Yeah. Wait, is that yeah. how it's supposed to be pronounced? Tolkien. Yeah. yeah. I've always mm-hmm. pronounced it Tolkien. It's not Tolkien. Isn't yeah. it this? He has it's the Sim- Simarelli- Simarillion, right? Simarillion, which is like the. No, it's the Eye of Sauron. You're no, thinking. Oh, okay. You're, <laughs> make, you're making it funny. It's like the Simarillion. It's like that giant collection of stories that's like outside lord of the rings but yeah. not like they're directly tar- tied to lore but they just didn't make the final Dude, the, the guy is insane like i watched the the movie that came out like maybe last year about him and which what's it called it's literally called tolkien oh but uh it's yeah. just about his well, life she, and like how he like created the language and everything and then yeah this made guy, his stories around it this that's guy crazy. created like five languages man well, yeah, it's, it's that insane. could be you it could, i could be the next you need Tolkien. to quit what's everything what's so <laughs> sick is if you could if you were that creative like think you you make this like massive story arc with like one or two people and then if you really want you could dive into like they had all like the dwarves and stuff you can dive into them make it, massive story arcs there you can you know, do it. story Tolkien arcs here you can do be crazy ptsd did he? Tolkien of PTSD. Yeah, I thought of Rob. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, he, he actually fought in, it would have been the First World War. Really? Jeez. For uh, Britain, yeah. For, damn. So, I, dude, boys, Our, I said I joined the army. Was it? And they yeah. Hit, and they hit, yeah. I'll join the army, I'll find my creative spark. Yeah, that was part of, like, his inspiration right. for, like, See the battles <laughs> of, like, Middle Earth. I'm out of here. It's like that meme of the guy vanishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like apparently him like writing about dragons and stuff was like his interpretation of like chlorine, chlorine gas and stuff Damn. in the war. Seeing people like suffocate and like, shit. He saw some fucked up shit. Probably. Yeah. All right, Robbie, you need to go to Join war. The war and <laughs> write a story Rob's about it. Enlist Drop war. me in the fucking like. <laughs> is there like an ongoing conflict anywhere? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, sure we can find one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Be too hard. Yeah. <laughs> 2020. Yeah. <laughs> But no, that's a, that's my fucking dream, bro. Like you just make your own, like no, not what? that. <laughs> no, uh, you, you just like you, know, you just say like, make your own like world, and like yeah. people take it for like like the, like this guy is like the like if Tolkien was come on and say like blah 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 blah, everybody like, okay, this is the truth like about Lord of the Rings. He gets to determine what's right and wrong. Yeah, because it's his like his it's his like novella. Mm-hmm. So we, I mean, Annie were talking about this today, Witcher. Yeah. Um, how do you guys know like the creator of the game Red like, Circle or whatever it's called the pro- the publisher is that what you're talking about or the actual Red person Circle. no the actual creator like, like, or the creator of like the original story and like the creators of the game like have butted heads because um, the guy who like, literally? wrote the story and everything like the witcher <laughs> um, <laughs> thinks that like he doesn't like video games he thinks that they're kind of worthless and then he, oh, when they were argue or when they were negotiating, because <laughs> yeah. when the company wanted to buy the rights, they were like, "Oh, we'll pay you six percent of our profits." He's like, "Fuck no! Like this is never gonna make a profit. Like this is gonna be worthless. I want money now." And so they gave him just straight up cash, and it was like probably hundred k or something. And then now it's one of the most successful nice. franchises yeah. ever, yeah. and he's pissed because he's just like, "You guys owe me more money." No, you fucked so up. Like, he, like he even says he's like, "I was stupid. I shouldn't have done that." But they owe me six percent of their royalties. And so like, you had no, your, sh- you had no. your shot, you grumpy old fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Go then drink some tea and take a nap. Apparently, he gets really pissed off when people like 
do fan fiction including his work and the games because he's just like no the games aren't part of the story at all he sounds like, like a yeah bitter dude yeah he's just like those are Go different outside, writers buddy. using my stuff to make yeah. their own thing so he's like don't count that like it's all my story mm-hmm. like Jeez. he's very possessive Did you guys watch the show no, I, I heard it was I good though. But I have, yeah, I've heard good things. About Annie it. watched it all in like two days. Wow, that seems like an Annie thing to do. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of <laughs> she loved it. Lots of sexual content and breasts from the sound of it. Huh. All right. Well, what's the one movie? That's all around Game right. of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, what's the one movie where they, like Seth Rogen and his buddy start a website that like shows you like what movies have like naked celebrities in it? Do you know what movie mm-hmm. I'm talking about? I don't. I don't oh, know if I've ever heard of this. It's such a funny fucking movie. It's probably like within a movie. No, it's like it's like the, the yeah, it's like him and his buddy like within the big movie. I think it's it's a movie they where Seth Rogen and gets married and has a kid. I forgot what that one's called. No idea. Uh fuck. Oh, you know what I'm talking party. about, right? I think I so, do. No, <laughs> is it knocked up? Knocked up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and like him and his buddy in that movie, they have they own a website that's like they make it just finds fucking Dude, we have to find the name of this. Oh my gosh. Knocked up. No, like the I'm, the movie is knocked up. Yeah. But the actual um it's not a real website, Rob. No, but I <laughs> I need like, to I, he needs it. I need this. I need this. Just the name of the website is like literally the funniest shit ever. Okay, hold Jeez. on. All right, well, while you do that, we'll move on to a different conversation and then knocked forget up. about this. Yep. Website idea name. <laughs> I always love Mr. whenever MrSkin.com MrSkin.com <laughs> I always love when movies and TV shows like have a website in their universe and mm-hmm. they actually make it's the website thing, yeah. it's and amazing. you can go to it like uh, one is The Office Woof yeah. you guys watch that? Like when, I've watched it I just never went to the uh, website what is it? it's just like uh, how Ryan makes the website Woof that's just when you send a message to someone it sends it to them on all platforms like fax uh, cell phone email web call everything like that Jeez. And like, if you go to the website, it has everything there and just like join now, you can't actually join, but they have like merch that they sell and banners and everything. That's sweet. So, you know, jo- when Josh Allen was getting drafted, yeah. there was the draft Josh Allen.com. Yeah. There was like this inside joke. This like quarterback was like some like random dude put out like a article about him being like, he looks good in gym shorts. He's got big hands. <laughs> Draft this guy, please. Yeah. And please. then, like, it was just, it's such a meme to the point where someone that he made a website called dra- draftjoshallen.com. <laughs> and then it was like just the bullet points. Looks good in shorts. Big hands. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's perfect. You know, that's but, Rob's dating profile. Looks <laughs> yeah, good in honestly. shorts. Looks good in shorts. That's good. Gym shorts, but now we're talking about football, and I'm thinking about football again. Rob, back. Don't worry I about should, it. It's going to get canceled. No, you'll, it's not. You'll have other stuff to talk about. No, it's not. If like, football gets canceled, what are we, we going to talk about after? But, like, what am I going to do on Sunday from 1 to 11? Maybe you can catch up on some of your work that. <laughs> yeah. You know, instead yeah, of taking your Tuesday piling. nap, <laughs> yeah. I'll, just, I'll move my Tuesday nap over. Take I guess. some Sunday calls. Sprinkle some of those <laughs> in there. Fuck <Like> that. <laughs> are you serious, man? Taking work calls on a Sunday? I can't think of anything I'd rather not do. Your mom would be upset at that. I'd rather go swimming with fucking sharks with a cut on my leg than fucking <laughs> do wow. that. All right. All right we can, we can arrange that. Yeah, we can. I'd rather die. Yeah. I'd rather get eaten by sharks than take a phone call on a Sunday. That's All a bit right. dramatic, but... Would you rather suck a All dick right. than work on a Sunday? No. I'd rather die on sharks. <clears throat> I'm getting choked up just thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> getting choked just up. thinking about penises? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, you guys are all giving me this look now. That's like well, when you say there's nothing I'd rather or nothing worse than doing that. We gotta, we gotta think of a few. Would you things. suck a dick versus working on a Sunday? I work on Sundays. I work on Sundays. Yeah. yeah, but like, like if you had like a normal person, nine to five. If I had to suck a dick to never work a Sunday again, I'd probably just work my Sundays. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> for a second I was like, <laughs> I, I really don't have that much of a problem working Sundays. Yeah. I work every day of the week, Rob. I wish Drew was here because Drew would be like, I'll take that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up my ass for all I can. Yeah. No. Working Sunday uh-huh. sucked, especially throwback to when I worked at Zares. Josh and I, like, like not your Josh, yeah, yeah. the other one. Him and Another I told, guy. we told, uh, I think, was it her name's Penny? I think the short. You go to church? Penny, yeah. yeah. No, not even that, dude. We said that both of us volunteered a flag, to we volunteer coach a flag football team. <laughs> I mean, and we got off every Sunday at two. It was the greatest shit man. ever. Penny was actually kind of chill. Yeah, yeah she was. She, uh, she made sure like you got shit done, but she yeah. was like, 
The people, the people who didn't like her, the people, I think, than the other. The people who didn't like her, the people who just didn't do anything. anything. Yeah, Yeah. it's like she only pissed me off because. um, Case in point, in the entire time, (laughs) (laughs) in the entire five years that I worked at Zares, I had never like canceled a shift. I always would like arrange for someone else to to take it. Yeah, yeah. And then one time, like just by freak, I fell asleep. And then woke up an hour into my shift and called and being like, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, I will come over right away, work my shift. And she's like, no, we already have it filled. You don't have to bother coming in. And I was oh, like, awesome. oh, like, I'm, I'm sorry. And then she's just like, I don't know what's wrong with you Packers. Like, if you guys are all planning something against me, but you guys need to like cut it out. It's like, <laughs> it's not that deep. Yeah. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> and she's just like, I don't know, like, oh, what do we have to do to shape you guys up? And I was like. I fell asleep one time. Like, this is my first cancel shift ever. And she's just yeah. so pissed at me. I was like, I fucking hate you now. I was like a year and a half in. And I had, like, I had, I hadn't booked a day off. Hadn't called in sick a single time in a year and a half. And then I need two back to back weekends off for, like, volleyball tournaments. Like, I'm not in town. I'm in different cities. Yeah. And they, you know how you have to put the RTOs in, you slam in the fucking box. Yeah. And then you so either stupid. get scheduled or you don't. Yeah. Like, they don't tell you anything. I look, I get scheduled on both. I'm like, why'd this happen? Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, the, your RTOs they got rejected." <laughs> I'm like, "Like, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not they got rejected. It's I rejected them." But like, I mean? think of how yeah. many, think of how many people we had at the time. Yeah. you couldn't find one person. She just rejected them because they just like copy paste schedules. Um, regardless, like it was the best. I'm like, you know, there was some guy who probably had like four hours. Who definitely take too, that? Who yeah. was like, yeah, please. But so down. Yeah, I was literally <laughs> on like, like there was a ravenous for shifts at one point. Guys yeah. Like, Man, like if you need any, like if you need any of your shifts covered, lots of people are like that. Let me know, bro. I I need to work and shit. I'm just like, dude, take my shift. Yeah, then there's the whole like, there's the whole like seniority thing. Seniority thing. It's like yeah. this guy at the bottom is like fucking craving shifts and like people. Like you have to give them people. to him first. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. Such a stupid system, man. But I was like on the bench in between sets in a volleyball game and called called her. I was like, yeah, I'm not coming in today. She's like, what do you mean you're scheduled? Are you sick? I'm like. Listen, no. <laughs> I'll hear like squeak, squeak, She squeak. got so mad. And then the, the next Saturday, she had talked to Jim about it. It was oh. like the store manager at the time. So then the, it's like... Jim was a fucking weird dude. He was man. okay. I actually like him. Now that I worked with him after the I, fact. I have a story about Jim, but I'll tell it after but story. I, I closed on the Friday night and then I was gone the Saturday again. But again, I was scheduled. And it was like, it was me and him closing. And he's like, he like comes to me with like five minutes left in my shift. And he's like, are you coming in tomorrow? <laughs> no sir have a good weekend i was like my <laughs> man yeah, he gross. was so nice but it's because i took so many stupid shifts for him like doing mm. grocery and stuff i don't think he cared i think penny was just a dick yeah, when it came to like shifts. every department there mm-hmm. well, it's because she came from a store that was like super relaxed no one cared yeah and then they were like this is the busiest store you have to shape them up and like yeah, and to be fair make like, it work. she was pressed a lot from above yeah like, put a lot of pressure on but again like it was so funny like five minutes before my shift's over he comes out to me he's like you're not coming in tomorrow are you i'm like no, no there's no chance no like, shot all right have a good one <laughs> but he was gross. so chill about it i'm like what the fuck but then after that i, I had like no respect for penny mm-hmm. i didn't want to do anything for her yeah so that's fair yeah. it's like do you want to be a respect leader or a feared leader and reap the benefits of either. You well, know. Like, when like Jim just like like went over her anyway. Yeah. It didn't matter. I felt, yeah, I like, Fuck felt you. like I was immune. <laughs> Fucking Jim, dude. I am above you. It was like I was working till nine because I was working dairy at this point. So like you got off at nine all the time. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I'm like, it's eight fifty six. I like you know I'm like I. It's four minutes left. Just chilling by the water cooler. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> as you do. Finished all my shit. You look I'm, over, you see Niall's tent. <laughs> yeah. I'm just laid, I'm standing on the stairs by the water cooler, kind of shooting the shit with whoever's on carts that night. Fucking Jim walks up, you know, store manager posture. Yeah. Hey, you're the dairy guy, right? And, and I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I was just back there trying to find blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, like, I'm here. I'm sitting here, blah, blah, blah. Like, I wasn't trying to be a dick or anything. I was like, my shift's done. Like, I'm just taking off. He's like, he checks, he goes like this. He literally goes like this. Where does his watch? He's like, <laughs> he's like oh, I'm, he's like, weird. I see 8.58 on my watch. Aren't you done at nine? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, he's like, well, I assume you've been here for at least five minutes. So that means that you owe me at least another five minutes of your time. <laughs> he, he makes me fucking go back to the back. And I'm just, he's like, go like organize milk crates or something like that. I then go back there, kick a few around, just sit there. Be honest, he, Rob. How how accurate was that? What that you were there for five minutes, so you probably owed. That was probably there for at least like fifteen. I was gonna say, yeah, we, okay. yeah, we were there so, for like so half an hour. Bad, yeah. <laughs> but he, and then I literally he's like, "You owe me five minutes of your time." 
okay, now that, now that I say the story out loud, he was he was in the right. He was being he, a yeah, decent yeah. manager, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the way he came up to me and goes like fucking wiggles his watch, so it like faces him. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking clown. The like, the only situation I had with like a a store manager where I was like, wow, I know I'm in the right, and you're just being a fucking asshole was the uh, every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day was was uh, <laughs> the embezzled yeah. uh, oh, store manager yeah. who I it was like middle of the day super super busy like the and it was one? yeah and yeah. it was summer so it was so Big fucking C. hot in the store we had to wear <laughs> we had to wear like long sleeve shirts and long pants oh, yeah and i'm fucking dying i'm the only packer so i went to go get a quick drink i walk over to cooler grab the cup and as soon as i grab it, he's like am i paying you to drink water <laughs> and i'm like that's his what line. yeah he that is. Over, he's like give me that too. he's like you see all those customers he's like who's going to pack all their groceries? It's like, I need water. I was like, I've been yeah. working for an hour straight with no drink. And like, it's so hot. And he's just like, well, I'm not paying you for this. Take, do it on your break. What the fuck? Dude, that's so, his line. Am I paying you to blank? To do something. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I look back and I'm like, okay, I get it. Because like from his side of things, how many times were we just fucking yeah. sitting at the Dude, water he cooler? Was, he was Absolutely. nice like the back departments, like dairy yeah, yeah. and shit. He would but always because he was embezzling. He fucking, <laughs> no, no, no. Like it's almost every manager is like that. Yeah. They're, like because those are actually like the, the Shane's embezzling. No, but like you know what I mean. Those are the harder <laughs> yeah. workers. Those are the ones who keep the store together. Yeah, everyone in front end is. Yeah. They walk by front end. They see people like on their phones just fucking around. Being, yeah, like, I'm literally like in my apron texting. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was classic. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it just made it more obvious. Checking the checking soccer scores. I remember when you yeah. were working. Oh yeah. I'd be like, "Yo, now what's the score or something?" And it's like that. Mm-hmm. Like, like, peak. One one. I went back to Zara's <laughs> the other day. Uh, I think it was two days ago. Don't recognize a soul. Don't recognize a single person. I just, uh, and like, well, like actually, no one right gives a fuck about customer service there, bro. I don't no, really care. No, it's different. I don't really care because like I'm not there looking for looking for it, but like. Man, they they must have changed the training, or they just must not give a shit anymore. Like the guy cashing me out, just like brain dead zombie. There's three people sitting. <laughs> That's at the, probably what we looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then there's people. There's like three of them at the end, and I have a decent order, so like some of them could be packing for me. There's three of them just standing at that little like podium. What, just was like, this during COVID? Yeah. But like they're they're still supposed to pack your shit. They have gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's, have I, I thought they weren't doing that. The ruling that is like if you're getting a plastic bag, you're allowed to. But if you bring your own, you can't. Yeah, you can't touch. Them. Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. know that. But I had like like 150 dollars worth of shit, and like they're all just standing there. Just like, protein powder. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, it was like chicken, bananas, broccoli. Yeah. Know? But still, I'm like, if I was in your position when I worked here, I'd be fucking being bent over the salt stacks and getting my ass whipped right now with some man like see you fucking. say that but no there were many times like where we were just it's busy and i'm just sitting at the water cooler like talking to one of you guys for like 20 minutes and, and the, then you get paid you're like yeah i probably should go do something and the cor- in the cory era though bro yeah. in the cory era they, they wouldn't have lasted a, a month probably those front uh, maybe but, I remember, but i think of that of like almost all my all the staff now i'm like uh, I, I remember so. you guys all remember Ryan, obviously, mm-hmm. and he would like the one I roomed with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he Not would. Sure I didn't say Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> he. <laughs> we'll try to avoid names, but yeah. um, just getting doxxed. He would yeah, just dox. He would walk ass. up to the till that I was packing at, and he'd just stand there and talk to me, and then, like he'd pa- pass me the bags. I'm like, there's five tills actually oh, all full, like he would do. and then yeah. like so many lineups. I'm like. I'd hop over to a different till and like try to talk to him from till when he'd walk over and follow me and just keep passing me bags. I'm like, you can't out, do bro, this, yeah. dude. Like, mm-hmm. You're gonna get me in shit. Yeah. There's one time, fucking, I was, I was, Dane was the cashier and Josh and I were at the end. <laughs> oh, Dane, Dane this, being this cashier was some of the funnest <laughs> shit I've yeah. ever. And oh. as a joke, like the person's like was buying shit. And Dane was like jokingly roasting the stuff they were getting. Oh my god! This stuff's unhealthy. Blah blah blah. Like, and then he was like, "You didn't get the barbecue flavor." Blah blah blah. And the but the cashier or the customers having none of it. Bro, they were <laughs> like mortified. They they walk out and then uh, I think it was actually um, wait I don't want to I was gonna say you know our favorite Mike the guy who works there yeah not he, the kid that did learn yeah he comes <laughs> over and he's just like. I don't know what you guys just said to that lady, but she told us she's never coming back to the store again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, so I, I can like, see Dan see, doing that. We yeah. laugh about this, but we were probably like, yeah. that was the every, worst I fucking shit. I remember like, talking to like Emily and every shift Dane worked, like customer complaint. 
Because <laughs> yeah, he just sit and chat with us the he whole just, time. Give a fuck. The guy just wanted to be a Packer. The yeah. Whole time. He was like, 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 and I got hired. We were like, can we be Packers? And they were like, no. They're like, we'll see. And then we were yeah. just cashiers. Yeah, you, like you and Dan were cashiers for like two years straight. Yeah. It's funny because you got hired like right after like you guys, kind of. Well, dude, I, I had some and I bargaining got hired, power. I think at the same. Time. Yeah, that was, that was the same. But, one. but you know what I mean, like. Why'd they make you guys cashiers? I don't know. They I were some... breaking the barriers because you were the first like two guy cashiers I can think of. Yeah. yeah. Which is hilarious. I had some, <laughs> I had some bar- bargaining power because they tried to fucking lay me off without my acknowledgement because of the whole back end thing. Dude, I'm mm-hmm. so pissed about that still because I worked in a hot deli first and then they transferred me over to front end after I had like seven months of no shifts. Mm-hmm. And I did not know you can like... Just get money the from them yeah. for that. The like, if if you have no shifts ah. for like X amount of time, they have to pay you like a couple hundred dollars per month. Yeah, as long as you're available. That, yeah, it's that yeah. union fucking. Union, and, yeah. Well, yeah, and so like all the other people in the hot deli who swapped over with me got like two thousand, three thousand dollars. Yeah, I got nothing because I had no idea you about gone it. Gone after them for that. Yeah. Well, I found out about it like three years it's too after. Late. Just yeah. up now, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> Just file a fucking get small em. claims. I'm pretty sure I was like not paid for a bunch of my garden center shifts before i left that makes sense i like i tried asking for it like a few times and like got some guy's phone number that like kathleen gave me yeah and like nothing came of it that's so fine like, be it. honest now did you even work i mean i I punched I punched it. I punched it. We out. were there. I was, I was there. there. Yeah. <laughs> I punched it in but the, I watered some flowers. On Friday I had to stop by to get something well, before I came to your house. I got the burgers and shit there. I walk in and there's not a single cart in the e- either lobby. I guess they don't use the other one, but there's mm-hmm. no carts. And like as I'm walking out, there's still no carts. So it took me like 30 minutes because remember I left my wallet and had to come back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, who the fuck is on carts that's doing this? I turn the corner and I see Jeremy walking out to get <laughs> carts. So I'm like it all makes sense. Dude, whenever I, I swear <laughs> I see him every time I go back. Just some like, I love the guy, but yeah, he's. I he's, see him. He's I, missing something. I, yeah. well, he's missing a lot, but well, I, yeah. I see him. <laughs> I see him. I just kind of like look. I don't. I don't want to be roped in that conversation for thirty. He, he has a knack for just finding me. I swear. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll make. I'll make. And I'll just see him. him. I'll, I'll see him like. And I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go in the third door. And then, like, by the time I get out of the store, he's like, fucking waiting for it's me. He's right there. He's like, Bro, Rob, you see what? You see the free you. games on Xbox Live this month? Like, holy <laughs> fuck! Rob like walks around all the till. He's like, fuck. He sees me. Like, he ducks into the washroom, and Jeremy's inside the washroom <laughs> yeah. waiting for him. Like, yeah. he's around the ceiling. Like, what's up, dude? <laughs> Have you seen their um? Okay, yeah. so, so you know the like the front of the store. You, like, you walk in, and then there's like the U scans and checkouts. Mm-hmm. In front of the U stand, there used to be like that big pop display and stuff. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a Starbucks now. Huh. Really? They 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 drop. Well, I guess it's they're building it right now. They're dropping a Starbucks right oh. there. Yeah, that's kind of sick. That's probably gonna get, gonna get a lot of fucking traffic. So the thing is, is if you're coming there, yeah, sure. But like, if you're coming off the highway, think you pass a Starbucks at that Wendy's, you then pass one at the Indigo store before you even get to the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, there's two in the mall. Now. It would just be like the argument there that they're thinking is, do you want to stop twice? One stop shop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's strange, but yeah, it's literally. That's sick. I love Starbucks. Yeah, dude. All this, so like right beside all the, the students are gonna feed that shit, dude. Because like there, lots of students to begin with. I needed my Starbucks. <laughs> I haven't had Starbucks in over like. I forgot it was like Labor Day, and like I tried years. ordering from yeah. the one at the mall, and it was like, they will be glad to help you like at the counter, and I'm like, what the fuck's this? And then I like drive <laughs> past the mall, and there's like not a single car in sight, and I'm like, right. Yeah, if I was Labor Day, the other one. <laughs> I almost went to go to the store today, and I was like, oh wait. It's, it's it's so close. eerie seeing stores with like like that. Yeah. Nothing. Even the yeah, even Good like Life's usually open. The yeah. Good Life's usually open today on holidays, but they're closed. I don't know what's different. Fuckers. Climbing was open, but again, as you said, it was by far the busiest I've seen it I was, since. Mm-hmm. I was gonna like schedule to go at two, and every single time we ever schedule, they'll say like it's supposed to be fifty person limit, and it said how many there's available. Normally, it's like you know forty five spots. 46 spots yeah. like no one's going we usually go for four and that's usually like the deadest time of the day before dinner is there, is there mm-hmm. look, actually we'll look at it after i wonder yeah. if our option is the same probably it's like thing. powered by something else yeah. but so today i went to go look at like 1 30 it's like oh I'll just book it right before we go it's like four slots available oh. so it's like what the so fuck? when i got there i was like lined up out front and i'm like i which pisses me off like i pay for my membership i do all this like i don't want to be lined up with yeah, people waiting wait but at the end of the day it's covid i don't really care mm-hmm. but um Again, I, I it was like three quarters of the way through my session. I'm like, I wonder how many fucking people are in here. And I just like did a lap, like head count in my mind. It was like there's like sixty plus. And that when the wow. place I went to the we went to the one time. Yeah. yeah. So but still keep in mind like when we went there was probably like a hundred people. Yeah. No, no, no. But still lots still, of no still, 
yeah, still lots of space. Like again, I didn't feel bad because I'm I'm going to the wall and then I'm just kind of backing off. I either have like my own little section on the bench or I'm off in the background. Um, so it wasn't bad, but mm-hmm. I yeah. Wish Drew was here to fucking talk about how the the breath is where it all comes yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. And then Although he, everyone's like, oh, I'm going to a bar mitzvah this weekend. <laughs> everyone in the comments. Yeah, I'm going to a like a th- hundred thousand person concert, but we're all being <laughs> yeah. we're all being social distance. E- everyone <laughs> in the comments uh, back Drew though. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they thought his. I, point I did was see good. One, one comment that was just like, I love Drew getting shit on in all the arguments. But I have to say, like, he right. has always the right points. Like, eh. Not always. In this one, he was, he was definitely right. Like, the way we were saying it travels, it doesn't fucking... You don't speak, and then it's in the, everywhere in the room. <laughs> well, like, but, like, for the point of pissing Drew off, I yeah. thought it was a great argument. Yeah. One thing but, I, I... One of the, like, old days at work was talking about, it's like, whenever she goes out anywhere, her husband's a... Like, what do you call the doctor that deals with respiratory shit? I don't know what, what that uh, word even nose, is. Nose, throat, ear doctor or whatever. Yeah, yeah. we'll go with that. He gives a, he gives her no swab because eighty percent of something it comes in through your nose and gets lodged in your boogers and nose hair and shit. Nice. Mm-hmm. So it's a bad, it's a bad time to be a nose picker and eater these days because you're just gonna give yourself fucking COVID. But, that's gross. I mean, yeah, I think that's never a good thing. Yeah, yeah I don't think that's normal. It's a bad time. <laughs> I think you can get sick from that. Eating your boogers. Just back to oh, why do you say boogers? What do you say? Boogers. Snot. Boogers, bro. No, it's boogers. I, I prefer Booger. boogers. Snot. Snot rocket? Yeah. That's what I think of every <laughs> time. Just a, snot just a little fucking... Like, I'm sure you're <laughs> right because it's boo, but it just sounds wrong. Boogers, bro. It sounds like you're trying to say, like, poogers. No. Or poggers. It sounds like you're trying poogers. to say but poogers or boggers. Yeah. But <laughs> boogers, Good, good talk. But yeah, regardless, fucking packed. So yeah. I don't know. Do you think it was just because it's a holiday? Or do you think... Yeah. Or do you think... Oh, it was so all students. Someone's though. birthday, So do you probably. think students are back and it's going to be like this always? I hope not. That is another possibility. It's possible though. How many people does your gym? So the gym out? at up until last week that they would schedule forty at a time, but mm. now I've just noticed they do sixty per per session. And then apparently, apparently, if like we don't have any more cases, which we haven't in the last little while, they're going to go uh, to take to completely scrap the scheduling. Yeah, I was going to say Good Life announced that like because the region is doing well enough. Yeah, they're like we're just going to kill off they, the they whole have schedule their own, thing. They have their own. You know how we have like a province-wide phase one they go yeah. has their own phase one two and three also i just love that good yeah. life tried so hard when you said it that they were like we're opening we're opening no matter july. what and the government and they're like yeah no, the government's like yeah like, fuck no, off get out of here <laughs> i remember i still remember my last workout there before they closed and like everyone i was talking to some guy at the gym and i was just he was just like oh the day they closed the gym is the day that fucking hell freezes over and oh. i'm just like yeah and in my head i'm thinking yeah they're never gonna close the fucking gym and then the next day so this brings up a great point. Remember, like the we had podcast the day before every, like everything closed. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, let's go get sushi, and then we couldn't because it just so happened the the place we were going to was closed on Mondays. It's open now. Oh really? Yeah, we can go get all you can eat sushi. Dude, same with the and, one in uptown. Or? Yeah, and the Ooh, one uptown. The one uptown has a patio. Yeah, I saw that. Actually. We should do that. Oh, because they extended someone, it. Uh, yeah. So post, is, like, isn't that like a win-win? Like I think you could even probably convince. I would. Dude, my, I my, would for like, sure go. Oh. Then my, I'll, I'll my set mom's this up. like, as long as we're it's not doing like anything, that's like. months for me. Like I don't know. If I were, if I, if I were to say we're going, like she's let me go to patios before. Well, it's a patio. Yeah. And you can eat inside, but again, it's super small. Well, we're not going to invite Drew. Did you just hear that? Yeah, no. there's people in my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta blow my nose really badly. So no, we'll, we'll invite Drew. Sudi says, but Drew's one of the few people. Like, I I know you can you can hold your own. You you and I are the same. We just eat till we're sick. Uh, I mean, you're I'll in the middle. Mm-hmm. Sure. You I, I eat until I'm happy, and then I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And every once in a while, you're like, okay, I'll eat a little more. But uh, Drew, like, he just eats so little. It's not worth him yeah. to go anywhere. Eat until I'm happy, and, and then, then I'll, I'll eat more. Order like. A few tons more, more and cheese dumplings <laughs> yeah. yeah and then i'll feel like shit but i'll be happy the so. thing is it's like i don't <laughs> I, I, I feel boogers running down to my lips boogers. i no longer boogers. like I, I i can eat pretty much as much as i want i no longer actually feel sick like i feel like it's not dude, normal I, feel, I, mean, I think i'm just really trained cool i think yesterday. i'm joey chestnut jr who he's the guy who fucking ate like 74 hot, dog hot, dog dogs, hot dogs in the span yeah. of 10 minutes Ugh. bun and dog Ugh. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. like, he like puts them in water and just shit and like jams, jams them the in. I think what it's was the so record? Gross. It's in I the 70s. Know. It's like it's, 74, 75. It's disgusting. What? Ew. And then the, the next closest was like 20 or 30 behind him. He's a mach- He's the best there ever was. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. 
That's disgusting. Ugh. But yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think my my stomach's just expanded enough. Maybe I don't know. I just don't feel sick. I can again. Like there was times like when I ate those I ate eleven steaks when we were in Frankenmuth, and then we went what for size a size steaks like this big. Jeez. And then, eleven steaks. Yeah, I, I and had then maybe like two like that last night. Like, yeah, I cooked a bunch of steaks and I was like still uncomfortably full. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. then but then we we went <laughs> back to like the hotel and went for a swim. I was fine. I yeah. don't know what it is, but man. swimming is like such a good thing to do after you eat a lot, bro. Yeah, oh, everyone says it's the worst, man. It it's fucking it's it feels great. So good, man. You just kind of float well, there. Just sit in when the they water. say that, they normally mean like swimming as in actual activity. Yeah, oh, we, 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 we can't even swim anyway, we, so we it's just, fine. We lay there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, we're not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I just stand the there. Yeah. Yeah. Shallow. Yeah. On that Friday, was jokes. It was, like, it was so yeah. cold. Everyone's like, "Oh, it's so warm." Me and Hal and we're shivering. We're like, "We're gonna just in the corner, sitting on the heaters." It was pretty chilly the one time. Uh, I had some diamond cutters going, but yeah, diamond. that was the funniest shit. Like it was actually in like a nice day, and Rob jumps in, and then three seconds later, he's in the water. Like we're like, Rob, you're, you okay? And he's like, <laughs> you can hear like his teeth like Cla- yeah, yeah, clapping. Yeah, clapping. Last time I jumped in, there was a fucking yard sale. My glasses broke. He threw the ball at me. I came up with one panel of my sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Rob was mid jump, and I chucked a volleyball at him, so he had to decide whether he wanted to just eat the ball or catch it. That's fucked. And he got caught in the middle. If you hadn't like tried to stop it, where would it have hit you? In the chest. Probably like chin or chest. Probably. Yeah, chest. Yeah. Because I was like, it, that was an overinflated was ball. In, it was, was a fucking like snipe. He was done. Then, <laughs> it was just when he pops out, the glass lens. Yeah, I just saw the lens like <laughs> floating in the water. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> on, I, I opened my eye under the water, thinking that it would like, for some reason, the glasses would protect my eyes. And I was like, wait. <laughs> and how many times did Christian put the ball into the, to his neighbor's yard? Eh? Fuck off. <laughs> I, I, I still think that was a big moment in our relationship. He trusted me enough to give me the ball after he confiscated from you <laughs> yeah. and Drew. I kept telling him, I was like, stop it. And you're like, ooh. Dude, Drew and I had a game to finish, it. bro. The final straw was you smoking the chair or the, the little table, and it bounces <laughs> up and smokes Christian. <laughs> that was a good time. I felt like a dad taking the ball away from his yeah, kids. Me, me and Drew was having a good time. Christian takes it. You guys can't do this anymore. Making too much of a fucking ruckus. Fair. And then when you have kids, or if that day ever comes. I'm going to have so many kids. I'm going to have 10. Well, yeah, they're all going to be from different houses. Yeah. But if then, you ever take care of a kid. Like, like Game, of, <laughs> Game of Thrones style. Oh, God. Oh, Robert no. Robert Baratheon. I'll have a kid from... Actually, I'm going to take this to a weird spot. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's, already, what? it's already not good. It's already not good. <laughs> yeah, this, I'm, 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 trying, trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to piece it together. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work. How many do you think you have from like college or university? How many kids do I have? Yeah, well, I don't I'm, have I'm saying any. at least. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking at least two. I mean, there could. No, I don't have that. <laughs> there could. There could be. Rob walks up to like his university crazy girlfriend and she's like, "Oh, how long has it been? Like six years?" And then a little boy walks around the corner. Happy like, oh. sixth birthday! He's like, you look like five years old. <laughs> It's just Hold decked on. out in Vikings gear. <laughs> my fr- I, this is this is kind of getting a little oh god personal and detailed. My friends, it's never stopped you before. No, like there is like there was a girl that I knew back in the day. I knew her, mm-hmm. and then stopped talking to her again. And she got a new boyfriend. And they had a kid together, but my roommates always joke, being like, "Hey, their her kid kind of has your eyes, man." <laughs> 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 Holy shit! So, what is he joking? <laughs> like, I don't it used to be know. some of the funniest things. Like one of my really good friends dated someone for like a year, and then they like they broke up, and then she got like was with somebody like started dating immediately after. Yeah, and then like six months later, a kid. Two years later, a kid, and then all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't add up. No, but you know what I mean. Like, she was pregnant, not like she had a kid. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Regardless, we were like that. That. Gives that. Six yeah. I'm like, wait. <laughs> but that could have deployment for a year, and your wife has a kid. Yeah, yeah. that could have been him. That could have like he was like like six months away from like that was you were hooked in with that like it's over. Yeah, could have had it. Could be your son, bro. Mm-hmm crazy imagine like if i if i had to if we finished podcast and i went home and i had a fucking kid to take care of <laughs> holy fuck i don't want to think about that. <laughs> your mom's like yo this kid's here <laughs> it's like having a pet but like it speaks english and fucking wants food all the time not at the beginning it's actually yeah, yeah. it's just a, it's yeah, just it's, loud it, is, it literally is a pet but it's yeah. a baby just just the worst train it. Rob, yeah. if that ever comes where you decide to have a kid with your girlfriend Wife, or whatever at the obviously. time yeah. i mean it could be girlfriend you never know yeah 
Um, but anyways, you're just like <laughs> of at least four years, maybe. You're like, you know, I've been wanting a, a pet sometime soon. <laughs> yeah, and a dog is not gonna do it for me. I can just picture Rob like popping on stream, and his cans are gone. It's just replaced with like a baby. quarter full baby bottle stack, <laughs> and it just smells even no, worse. It's just an actual baby just sitting there. <laughs> I'm watching anyone notice this. <laughs> hey, your cans are gone. There's a fucking child there, like a live human baby. Yeah. No. Every kill, I he slapped the baby on the head. How's that? <laughs> what? No, not what? hard. Just like giving no, a tap. No, no, no. Maybe I shouldn't have a kid after all. I need a dog for a baby. Yeah. yeah. When you move, are you getting a pet? I need a pug. Like as soon as you I need a pug. Yeah. Once Nile. I have the space no. and like I know I have the time. And, well, Don't get a pug. They're deformed apparently. Why? Because I love them. But like you're you're paying to have an animal suffer. No, I'm gonna so? take care of it. Yeah, <laughs> you can't. It's genetic. I'm make sure, it's in the best. Like, yeah, it's impossible. Ever. Well, <laughs> they yeah. physically cannot breathe. Well, I'll give them the best. Well, that's his issue. I'm yeah, I'm doing my best. Life. I'll do. I'll do whatever I can. Christian's the type of like I'm he. Christian has a kid life. that like has like asthma. And he's like, now get this kid. Yeah, this get this kid, kid, this kid out of here. Breathe. Get this kid out of here. <laughs> 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 can't, can't breathe. Get him out of here. That'd be like going to like an orphanage and being like, give me your most fucked up kid. I want him. What? No. That's the equivalent of getting a pug. No. Or going out to the boonies and be like, hey, you got any inbred kids here that I can take? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, the more fucked up, the better. You gotta try, get like a I'm pug. I'm trying to start a workforce. I'm getting a pug. No, pugs are awesome, man. There's nothing. Like not, Ben's pugs were fine. Not every pug needs to be like overweight and like have breathing issues. Yeah, but again. They, but they do have breathing issues. That's just the genetic trait. Again, Ben's you pugs. good shape still. Like you can you can no. have a pug that's still, no like, it's not healthy. possible. Ben's it pugs were possible. fine until they lost the use or until he lost the use of its back legs, but that was like yeah like how oh, old was which, that? Which, I don't remember how old. That old. I was gonna say I feel like <laughs> it was like year seven, year yeah, I feel like, like it was six or seven, which is very I, young I, for I have, a dog. I have no idea. I don't know. But I I know his mom even said after that they're like we're not buying any more pugs. No, what like, he has he's got two dogs now, but I don't two pit bulls which are also pugs. pretty fucked up, but they're rescues so like. Rescued pit bulls. I'm getting, black, someone... I'm getting a black <laughs> pug. Mr. Worldwide. Two it's kills each. Darth Vader. Yeah, I'm getting a black pug, and it's named Darth Vader, and then the white one's going to be Yoda. You should just name it That's Vader. That's awesome. Wait, we're going to get Yoda first, because he's older. Yeah. True. Obviously. You should name it Vader, though, not Darth Vader. So, no, the plan is to... His name is Darth Vader, but then when I'm angry, like, I use the full name, so I'll be like, Darth Vader. And then, oh. then, like, then it knows. Just normally, yeah, yeah. I'll just be like, yo, I want to buy a husky and name it DJ. I don't know why. I feel that's a good name for a dog. <laughs> I like huskies. Yeah. Like huskies, German shepherds, I love. I like, I'm like They're sick almost dogs. all dogs, except for like the ones that are really, really small. I said, so Amanda wants to get a dog, and I told her the only way you're getting a dog is if it's like smaller than your purse. I don't want a big dog. I don't want to deal with you the shit. You want a chihuahua? Shit. Sure. Mm, I don't want to deal I with. I don't want to deal with big dog like, shit. I don't want to deal with. I hate wet dog smell. Yeah. Mm. I I hate it because as soon as it's like in your house, like you don't get rid of it anytime soon unless you get through the fucking dog. <laughs> I hate it, man. So I just want a small dog. Yeah, like the small dogs I get would be like pug, corgi, French mm -hmm. bulldog, maybe golden retriever. No. No, I'm just fucking around. No wet dog smell. <laughs> Ch Chihuahuas. They're sick. I, I get the same Chihuahua's kind of dog that I... As long as... Like, I, the thing is, is uh, like you have to train it so it's not yappy. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the that's, thing. That's pretty much what I was... Good luck. Yeah, that's my only hesitation. Mm -hmm. Is a chihuahua like the one that like... Like it's always shaking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I definitely want that. <laughs> Just trembling. I'll comfort they're, 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 they're not as bad as pugs, but they're pretty bad. Christian just, just stressed. Punks, Christian just hates all, everything that we want. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> my kid has asthma. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of my sight. I can't breathe. He's going to be like, do you want to take care of this thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> of it. Just kill it. Put out its misery. Oh, my fantasy <laughs> draft. What time well, is fellas, it? Well, fellas, hour and a half. Yeah, I was going to say, my fantasy draft is an hour. Eight, I just had like a half seizure thinking yeah, about dude, football. I thought it was like 8.30 for a second. I was like... I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, question time. Yeah, what do we what do we ask him? Do we How big is him? your ego? No. Yeah. No. That's a good one. Someone uh, will answer. Yeah. Should now get a pug. Yes. Yeah. No favorite uh -huh. favorite kind of dog. If you were gonna get a dog, what kind would you get? Sure. Sure. If you were going to purchase a a dog. I don't know why that's hard to say. As a puppy, mm -hmm. what kind of dog would it be? What well, we should name go it? around the table. If I wasn't allergic, Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russell? That's a shitty name for a dog, but whatever. No? <laughs> Definitely pug. <obviously. laughs> is, is Pomeranians the ones that are really small? Pomeranians. With like really, super yeah. fluffy yeah. hair. Yeah. So either yeah. that, if I had a house that was like, is it a bungalow? Single floor? Yeah. yeah. If I had a single floor house, 
Wiener dog. Wiener dog. Yeah. Wiener yeah. Dogs. But again, I would feel so <laughs> bad if I had even one step. The poor thing would just its back like breaks every time it takes a step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too scared. But yeah, wiener dog on a bungalow. I'd get like a like a purebred husky with like blue, glorious blue eyes, and I would name it DJ or Henry. Blue name eyes, it, blonde um, hair. Yeah, the perfect. What was the, uh, <laughs> the head of the White Walkers? What was his name? I, the Night King. Oh, yeah, wow. name it the fucking Night King. The, if I name my dog the Night the King, night. oh, that's that sick. So but a blue-eyed husky, the fucking Night King. Night, dude, I'm I'm gonna do that now. That's great. I'll name, I'll name it like fucking. Just get a fucking direwolf. Yeah, I'll just get the a... only four. <laughs> <laughs> Are those like the massive dogs? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, don't get that. The, the only like small thing that would derail this entire plan is that a purebred white husky with blue eyes would probably cost you like two thousand, three thousand dollars. I'll be, I'll be rich by the time I was going to say, one. this guy's going to be loaded. I mean, yeah. you know, pug's like a couple grand if I want like a, well, yeah, it's a fucked. puppy. Wait, you, know? you, you have to spend more. Here's the thing. Like if, if, if you got to pay like a grand or two and like what's a dog, like it lasts like 12, 15 years. Yeah, oh, as a pug, yeah. you get six, seven, you get half the lifespan, but like that's still <laughs> great. Care of it, it's, it's an investment. Fine. Yeah. You like, give him a pad a day and he gets an extra year. Like <laughs> <laughs> he can't go in there and fix its fucking nose. So <laughs> just make sure it doesn't run any track or anything. Yeah. Jeez. Well, right. Niall, Niall, thanks for joining. Yep. Mm-hmm. Niall. It was fun. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you'll beat out Drew. Where can people find you? I don't know. In, uh, <laughs> Twitch. Twitch.tv Twitch. 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 nasty. <laughs> Papal Express. Yeah. Papal Express. But yeah, I'd say you're pretty well known for at this point from like the, uh, the I media I guarantee. Like oh, that can really be the question. Guys. Do yeah. you actually know who he is? That's perfect. Yeah. I'm curious to see how many people actually like, translate over because I don't. Now think... I was gonna read the comments and just cry. <laughs> but what the fuck is this? Guy? <laughs> yeah. Get him out. I don't think like I don't think like many people even knew who were like like me, I was until we did the podcast. Mm-hmm. To be fair, well, right? like they, they knew of you versus knew who you were. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've even been, Robin Drew. Here, well, mean? like Christian's been clowning, yeah. Christian's been clowning me on his videos for a while now. But so. even Robin Drew, there's a lot of times where like the first bunch of podcasts are like, which one's Rob, which one's Drew. The, the best was when you post a picture at your old place of Drew and I. Remember when we were doing the Cooking Mama video, and it was like we were in your old basement and I was oh, wearing like a, oh yeah yeah yeah. I was wearing like a gym shirt and Drew was there and everyone's like, who's who? And I kept commenting back, pretending to be Drew. And Drew would do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, cool. Oh. I actually played Overcooked like last weekend with my sister it's and her good. boyfriend. It's fun. I, I was fun the one time. It's, a great my, it's the best. It's for, for, me, it's like, for me, it's like a one sitting. <laughs> yeah. one I remember sitting game. Uh, I did like that charity stream one time. We mm-hmm. did like a 24 hour thing for like Alzheimer's. And uh, I stayed I with like him. scheduled like a time to play Overcooked with Shane. <laughs> and he literally just like beat the game like, we beat the whole finish. game but it, like it wasn't like it, <laughs> it, was it, it, it was as long as you thought it took like half your stream it was no it was probably like six hours yeah, it's, okay that's, still, that's still, a lot so, so quarter <laughs> yeah. of the stream yeah. <laughs> but i didn't leave once i'm like i'm fucking down for this six let's go straight it was great yeah. i love that game yeah, yeah. all right all right favorite dog or favorite no. dog brand type brand <laughs> whatever <laughs> when the, when the, when the, what would you name you get a it? bunch of uh, <laughs> people from Alabama with like cow pokers like this is my brand <laughs> and then do you know who Nile is yeah perfect yes you do okay. well now you do okay <laughs> bye bye, bye.